Hello everyone! Happy Sunday. And hello Soulcaster, who can't stay too long, but asks, is this basically a demo grab bag? It's exactly what this is. So over the past couple of weeks, uh, during the podcast, I talked about the various um, streaming uh, uh, digital presentations for upcoming video games and the various games that caught my eye. So I thought, it's first Sunday of the month, we're playing something new, so let's play the demos for some of the various games that caught my eye. And one of them was Little Guardsman, which looks cute and seems to be a riff on Papers, Please, which I've actually not played, but it does look neat. Now, so far as I can tell, uh, doesn't use the... Oh, it does use the controller. Oh, well, that's good, because controllers are better. All right, so, uh, yeah, let's uh, start a new game and uh, give this a try. And so it came to pass that the day was to be saved by the most unlikeliest of heroes. A small child unwillingly thrust into the workforce. One disaster after another had been diverted due to her diligent and cunning decision-making. I'm not sure I care for the, uh, on the verge of knowing everlasting white and gray division Our hero could find on the, the, the text box here. It's, but only after one it's weird. Decision was to be made. It's legible, but it's just a decision weird. Of great weight. A decision of immense importance. A decision that could possibly kill hundreds, even thousands The of best people. decisions. Oh my god, you've made the wrong choice. You didn't think things through. You've doomed us all. Everything's on fire now. We're all covered in fire. How Dude, it's just pineapple on pizza. Thing? It's going to be fine. A little, little bit of an issue with the fire generation on the very bottom of the screen looked a little odd, but that's all right. What? Oh, Dad, I was... Oh, I must have been having a nightmare. Yeah, my nightmares are it's having to get up at 6 a.m. I think it's time you and I had the talk. Oh, good. 6 a.m. Good, good, good time for the talk. Looks like we've got kind of a Game Boy over here, band poster, maybe another band poster, dragon plushie, an actual typewriter. Okay, it's interesting because we, we've got what what looks like stone castle kind of um, medieval fantasy knights and stuff, um, you know, with, with dragons, but we've got like pennants and uh, a Game Boy and a skateboard and a typewriter so a bit of a bit of a mismatch mishmash here interesting out of one nightmare and into another damn right sweetie there comes a time in every young person's life dad you don't have to do this we have the internet I am well versed when they have to work their dad's shift at the guard shed while he places a bet on the goblin ball match down at the pub. Ah. Aw, oh, Dad, do I have to? Today was the day I was going to start off on a grand adventure with my friends. Can't we talk about sex PC. instead? I want to fight ogres. I, I want to throw rocks at things. You think I didn't want to throw rocks at things when I was your age? But I had a duty. I had a responsibility. Oh my god. Poor Lou. Every every type of uh, chat service hates Lou. YouTube hates Lou. Twitter hates Lou. We love you, Lou. <laughs> I had to work at the guard shed while my dad placed a bet at the Goblin Ball match down at the pub. Did he ever win anything? Do you think we'd be stuck here if he did? But I'm 12. Won't we get in trouble? Not if we don't get caught. Come on. I'll show you how to handle anything that comes up. Try not to get thousands of people killed. Okie dokie. Ready for me to very quickly show you how everything works? Yes, Father. Tutorialize me. 
we both had the same joke. The writers and I are on the same wavelength. No time for a full rundown, so I'll sum it up like this. The key thing to remember when being a castle guardsman is... Dad, someone's coming. What do we do? Panic! Uh, okay. I guess the best way to learn is by doing. Let's just hope there's someone completely plain and boring. Ah, good morning, Mrs. Abernathy. You How's plain, you boring woman, you. Plain and boring, as always. <laughs> Maybe I wrote this. Bingo. Would you mind if Lil looks after you? Oh, not at all. It's always a pleasure to see your daughter, Shamish. It's Hamish. Wait, is your daughter's name Hamish or Shamish or are, are you? Because, well, whatever. What is? Never mind. Now, Lil, when a visitor approaches the guard shed, they'll generally start by stating their business. I'd like to state my business. I bring a basket of baked goods to my son and his family once a week. Oh, would you like one? <laughs> that is not a basket, old woman. I see through your lies. But, basket or not, it's got cinnamon rolls in it, so... So we'll let it slide. After they state their business, it's pretty much your call what to do next. Eat cinnamon roll. You can click on them and interrogate them. There's tools, the phone there on the wall. You only get three action points. You get it, right? Uh, sure. Not really. What do we need tools for? You can pick one and it does something. Come on, Lil. I've really got to speed this along. The Goblin Ball game is about to start. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm inconveniencing you? Oh, no, not at all, dear. I don't mind helping out. But the princess is whirly gigging the ceremonial for a slingshot. <gasps> she is? Sweet jumping jitters, we gotta get to that game. Let's wrap this up, dear. Seamus, tell the girl what to do. Hamish, and is the princess, like, in the slingshot? Are we slinging the princess somewhere? The name is Hamish. No, it's Mrs. Abernathy. <laughs> uh, click on any highlighted element to learn about it. Okay, this is a point and click, so I guess we can use the mouse. How about this board back here? The Royal Writ. This is the Royal Writ. The first thing you do when you start your shift is take a look. Well, I'm glad that's the first thing I clicked on then. Because it could have easily clicked on anything else. It's got a lot of information you'll need to do your job. You can click on the Royal Writ anytime and it won't cost you any action points. Alright, the Royal Writ. Number one. Or number target. If the Castle Guard Corps can achieve a good star rating this month, there will be a pizza party at the barracks. Note, strict one slice limit per guardsman. Well, I mean, one pizza slice is better than no pizza slice. I mean, th this seems to be a lot more uh, chill than papers, please. <laughs> it's like, you know, if, if you're good, you uh, get a slice of pizza. In papers, please, it's, uh, if you're good, you only have to choose between heat and medicine for your sick children. Uh, from the desk of Councilwoman Ashy, or Ash, not sure, Ashe, there will be a demonstration in the city square this evening held by members of the Mages Guild. If any of the speakers come through your gate, please call my office to initiate their escort and secondary screening. Congratulations to Guardsman Randy on 35 years at his post. Well done, Randy. Uh, he's, he's pulling in full pension now. Uh, after a six-month undercover operation at the Sprawl Cavern for the elderly, a sweet a group of sweet Grammys, Grammys, not Grannies, but Grammys. So the music awards, and Grampies. Okay, Grammy as in Grandma, Gram. Uh, okay, and Grampies were uh, discovered to be trafficking illegal drugs into and out of the city, in their bums. While not every old person is to be treated as a drug mule, <laughs> well, not all of them, please be vigilant when dealing with somebody's grandparent. Hmm. 
I've got my eye on you, Miss Abernathy. Number one, you're old. You could be a drug mule. Number two, that is not a basket. Depressed Joker seeks person with funny name. If you call and pique my interest, there's a cash bonus in it for you. Thanks, Malcolm. All right. Oh, we've got a chainsaw. If you want to use a tool, you have to make sure it has a crystal to charge it. Here, I'll show you. Hi, Momo. I'll add today's crystals to the tools that don't have any. That way, I have a well-rounded arsenal. Why do the other tools already have crystals in them? I carry them over from previous days. Any other questions? Why does a bullwhip need to be powered by crystals? No more questions. All right, we def. Oh, it's a. I I don't know. I I think that's a chainsaw. Dakota ring, truth spray, X-ray, bullwhip. Truth spray. You spray it, and they tell the truth. Honestly, that's what it does. Hmm. This X-ray scanner can see through most types of clothing, flesh, and bone. It uses low-grade radiation. Do not use on trolls. Wait, so it sees through clothing and flesh and bone? So what am I looking at then? Do, do, I guess foreign objects. I guess we'll just see foreign objects floating there. <laughs> Finders of the Lost Relic. Yeah, okay. No humming. You can use this decoder ring to decode things. Mm. Not exactly sure how it works. The instructions were written in some kind of code. Mm. It's a metal detector. It Easy looks like a chainsaw. Pretty sure it's a chainsaw, Hamish. Feeling stuck? This phone is for calling the royal advisors and asking for their help. But all they'll really give you is their opinion. You can get a hold of Lieutenant Stryker, Captain of the Guards, and technically our boss. Hello? There. Hi! This is Lil. Or First Councilwoman Ash, the head bureaucrat of the Sprawl, with a real mind for politics. This is Councilwoman Ash. Hello? Okay, Hello? so it is Ash. There? And finally, the Royal Jester Malcolm, chaos personified in human form. Hello, you've reached Malcolm. Please leave a message after the goose honk. Hey, where'd the goose go? Well, chase after it, for goodness sake! Each honk that goose! Okay. You use the Wicked 3000 to make the big decision to let someone in. Or send them packing. I mean, she could be trafficking drugs, but she came bearing cinnamon rolls, so... Ugh. Choosing this will end the tutorial. Can I finally get out of here? Didn't we cover this? That's your inventory bag where you keep the things people give you, or that you confiscate from them. In other words, your sweet, sweet loot. I cannot be bribed, except with money, or cinnamon rolls, or anything else that I really, really like. Looking in your bag for something to use doesn't cost you an action point. Use cinnamon roll. Yeah, everyone loves Mrs. Abernathy's buns. They're famous. Okay, well, we will... Oh, I can't click and drag. No? no? Okay. I already told you. Clicking on the person means you interrogate them and hear more of their story. It's the best way to find out someone's true intentions. Sometimes. Sent someone on a wild goose to eat. You know what? That I didn't pick up on that, Lou, but you're right. That was the joke, and I missed it. Shame on me. Sometimes. Sometimes using a tool will do the job better. Or the phone, or it's a combination of things. I don't know, you can spend all three action points just interrogating them for all I care. Okay. Wait, do we care about these? No? Huh? Alright. You use the Wicked 3000. Mm-hmm. Now you can choose to use the Wicked 3000 oh, no. at any point during a turn, but sometimes it's better to use up all three action points to find out everything you can. No, I get three action points necessary. per person, right? Sometimes? Yeah. 
And sometimes people are in a really big hurry, like I am right now. So just pick a damn lever up. <laughs> well, this one's kind of broken. Select and hold to make your decision. All right. Well, we we want to admit, deny. Not actually an option. Is there? Can't get out of here. All right. Well, she she did she did give us uh, the cinnamon buns. Oh. Job, Lil. Your mother would be so proud to see you now. Shame she's dead. I'm off to watch the big game. Happy Sunday, Chicago. Got my grandson's inheritance riding on a tip that the Stapleford Snughorns are gonna win it today. All right. Well, good good luck to you, you and your grandson. Here's a tip: never lend Mrs. Abernathy money to bet with. Let's hurry along to the game. We don't want to be late, do we, Hamish? Ah, uh, Hamish, got it right. My name is Shamish. No, wait, it's not. Oh, I better go. Time to put on your big kid pants. You can do this. More like I'm being forced to do this. It's only for today, I swear. Come meet me in the tavern when the shift is over. Good luck. Uh, violating child labor laws and, uh, you know... Th Having me meet you in a bar, you're a good dad. Good luck with your illegal gambling. I don't need luck. Believe me, he does. Okay, Lel, you got this. You nailed that tutorial, good job. Ah, we are good at this. Uh, we already read this? Okay, yes. Your tools have been preloaded with power crystals. The premium pink ones are mage grade and work 100% of the time. The inexpensive yellow ones only work 40% of the time, so choose wisely. There was an asterisk, but I didn't see, like, a footnote anywhere. Oh, here we go. Although Lil has not technically received the Chronometer 3000 yet, you can try your hand at time travel at any time in the guard shed. Okay. Try clicking on the inventory. Lil's bet. Okay, the, the the dialogues are just surrounded by encased in uh, asterisks. Uh, try clicking on the inventory, Lil's bag, and then clicking on the hourglass looking device. All right. Charmed to make your acquaintance, young Gateminder. I'm sure. I am Tyronius Athanatos, son of Briel and Daru Athanatos. <laughs> I have been summoned to deliver the keynote speech at the Festival of Magical Freedom tonight, hosted by the Mages Guild. Will you require anything further? Well, it's not actually named. Please call my office to initiate their escort. Alright, so we need to call Ash. Just a sec, sir. I'm so glad you called. Frankly, I was worried you guardsmen never followed the rich due to illiteracy. <laughs> Okay. Do you want me to use the chainsaw? The House of Thanatos and indeed the entire Mages Guild thank you, young guardian. You will go far. You read the written followed orders. You good little guardsman. I, I missed out on a star, though. Oh, well. Good afternoon. I am here to pick up my two kids from their no-good, stingy, low-life of a father, who happens to be my lying, cheating, low-life of an ex-husband, Orlando. It's not, not Randy, is it? His address is there on this incomprehensible, illegible letter my kid sent me. Oh, 
believe me. I would love to have him get off his sorry butt and bring them to me for once. Okay, do, do I have that in my inventory now? I, I do not. Would you like a cinnamon roll? No? Okay. All right, now uh, maybe we need to use the decoder ring on uh, yeah, the letter, right. I don't know how to tell you this, but there's more to this letter than meets the eye. There's a hidden message written here. It says, come son, mommy, Kelly is nightmare. Does that make sense to you? Oh my god! My boys don't know how to spell! <laughs> but also, that thing about Kelly being the worst! Uh, okay. I, I'm, I, yeah, I guess she, I, she's a cyclops at least, but uh, don't x-ray trolls, they don't like it. And this is a metal detector or something, right? Uh, true spray, x-ray, it was x-ray, right? Bullwhip, don't know why we do that. That's fine. So let's, uh, let's call Stryker and see what he has to say. Give me a second to run her through my known criminal database. Clickety clackety. Okay. Her husband, sorry, ex husband, Orlando, is a person of interest in a few misdemeanors down at the Goblin Ball Arena. And the girlfriend, Kelly, is a waitress at a local restaurant named Monty's. Not the type of characters I trust my kids with for a week. If I had kids, which I don't, but if I did, they'd be able to handle any threat. Okay, well sounds good. Go go get go get your kids or something. Alright, wait, let's let's talk to you some more. So that's Kelly isn't as fun as she's made out to be. If anything, she's making my kids miserable. I've never been so happy in my life. Uh alright. Oh my god, I need to get my kids right now. Sure. What's your game plan? First, I'll make sure my boys are safe. Mm -hmm. Next, I'll Kelly's so hard that it'll f up Orlando's. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I appreciate a woman who can employ creative profanity. Hey, Dark Zero. Thanks. Don't worry, Polyphemus Orlando Jr. Mama's coming for you. Good luck. Good use of the decoder ring, guardsman. You didn't judge a book by its cover, and you knew when not to stand in the way of a mama bear and her cubs. <laughs> what in the bloody blazing blasted hell is the holdup? Why have we stopped, Bill? Well, sir, the guard. Silence! Speak when spoken to, or you'll get the whip! It, Help. You you were talking to me, jackass. I've got my own whip, sir. Don't make me use it. I'm afraid if I try to use the whip, I'll, I'll whip the whelp instead of the asshole. Yes, sir. Now, you, child, let me pass. I have important business to attend to. Come on, shake a leg. B.S. waits for no man. B.S.? Mm -hmm. Bank of the sprawl. Well, that's unfortunate. So that was Polymephus upbringing, says Lou. No wonder. <laughs> All right. What kind of business do you have at the bank today, sir? 
I shan't be airing the details of my BS appointment with some nosy little brat tending the gate. Mind your business or you'll get the whip, child. Yeah, um... Oh, yes. We mustn't keep you from your ever-so-important meeting. <laughs> BS is right. You have forced my hand, sir. Uh, I'm sorry, sir. I was just slouching only for a second. I'll make sure that none of the blood gold falls out of its case. Blood gold, you say? You nincompoop. It wasn't me using the whip. If it was, believe me, you'd feel it. I was trying to whip the, the dude, not the... The shorter dude. Wait a second. Did he say blood gold? Isn't that illegal? He didn't say blood gold. He said bloody gold. It's a form of slang he must have picked up from somewhere. Isn't that right, you bloody idiot? Yes, sir. W whatever you say, sir. I'd like to take a closer look at those gold bars. I think I need to hold on to these. Why, you greedy little urchin. I think I like you more than ever. No, it's not like that. Oh, of course. Just remember, if you make any form of profit off of those, you're as much to blame as I am. Right. Now, since you are finished rifling through my personal belongings, you insufferable petty little monster, let me pass. Sure, just, uh, you know, I've got to call him a boss. Blood gold. We've been on the lookout for mules bringing it into the sprawl for years now. Deny this man immediately. Well spotted, Guardsman. You are a credit to the Force. Aha! No! It's the Goblin's fault, isn't it? Nasty, deceptive creatures. What about this? Let me through the gate, but I shall leave the goblin tied up outside like the cur he is. But sir, the gold! Silence! All right, you rotten little girl, I'll go. But you will rue the day you crossed me. I've always enjoyed the phrase rue, you know, any phrase with rue in it. You will rue the day that... That's fun. We should, we should use rue more. Makes me want to go on public transportation and yell at people. You will rue the day <laughs> that you took up too much of my armrest. You foiled a blood gold trafficker on your first damn day. Legend. Damn right. <laughs> Whipping gets results, says Lou. Lil, you gotta close down the shed for the day and come with me immediately. I do. Uh, who are you? There's no time for your irritating brand of sarcastic millennial wit. Uh, which which millennium? It's kind of hard to tell. Because <laughs> we've got closed circuit TV uh, cameras in Castletown here. And why? Do, whose head is this? And, and what about this, this dead chicken? What's a millennial? I believe they requested you. Oh, they, they, they didn't. By now you've heard that Princess Desdemona has disappeared, right? No. Did, was she the one in the slingshot? Well, I mean, did, you saw which way she was slung, right? Well, she's disappeared. Oh. Nobody saw anything or knows where she went. And any other week, the royal advisors might have given her a day or two before sounding the alarm. Yeah, Princess is going missing, usually not that big a deal. They, they, they typically turn up. But with the mucky mucks from Petrard and Marvog in town... We have to get her back before things around here get any worse. 
I hope nothing bad happened to her, but what does any of this have to do with me? <laughs> I asked my boss the same thing. In fact, I said, why the hell would they need that piece of... Ellipsis. You know, that's not important now. Do what you have to do to close up shop here, and then you're coming downtown to the city council chambers with me. Is it a date? Oh. Almost four stars. Due to your exceptional job performance, 3.75, you were paid 30 gold for this shift. How does that compare with the uh, two bars of blood gold that I confiscated? This is a nice little tune too, I'm digging it. Awesome! Could have done something more here, I guess. I would assume that's the end of the demo, right? No? A little bit more? Alright. Yeah, because we gotta tease where this there? where the main arc is heading. Can somebody tell me why I've been summoned? Lilith, guardian of the southern gate. Step forward Lilith. into the okay. light. But if I step forward, I'll be stepping into shadow. Oh, that light, okay. Do, do I need to click on the thing? Okay, I've still got my cinnamon roll. That, that's what matters. What is this? Who are you? Can somebody please tell me what exactly is going on here? And for the love of the bacon bits, explain the birds and the bees to me. My dad's been teasing me with this every morning, and he keeps just dumping his workload on me. Will, you have been chosen. You are the chosen one. To play the hit game that's sweeping the sprawl. That's right, it's time for... So you think you can save a princess! <laughs> okay, um, not what I was expecting, uh, but we've we've got our bosses up here, the, the Jester, Ash, and, um... Oh no, I'm sorry, this is Ash, this is Stryker was the other one. What the hell is going on? Uh, that's right, Lil. Today you're getting the chance <laughs> to send one of these lucky adventurers on the escapade of a lifetime to search for and rescue your beloved Princess Desdemona. Desdemona, alright. Uh, Lou says a lot of people on public transport already rue the day. <laughs> I didn't ask to do this. And let's find out who those lucky adventurers are. Adventure number one is a hard-headed, go-getting warrior from the desert plains of the alluring Marbog Empire. Please welcome Neil Warkiller! <laughs> Adventure number two is a nomad by nature, mage by profession, who likes the rain and getting caught in a pina colada. It's Articulous Flame Hands! And finally, adventurer number three. You might recognize this thief from their wanted poster. Wanted dead or alive for looking so darn good, let's hear it for Perry Shoutsen! I don't... I still don't fully understand what's happening. And no heroic voyager would be complete without a shadowy figure pulling the strings from the darkness. That's... that's... Malcolm Ash and Stryker. So let's welcome our sponsors, Lieutenant Stryker, Councilwoman <laughs> Ash, and Court Jester Malcolm. Not not much of a from the shadows if you just announce them, but okay. I'm rooting for you. Might makes right. Focus and the day will be ours. Information is power. Aim for the knees and bite, bite, bite. Bite, bite, bite the knees? That's so crazy, it just might work. Now, Lil. 
you're going to get the chance to ask these adventurers a series of questions to determine their suitability for this quest. At the end of the third round, you choose the winner of the grand prize, being sent on a perilous mission to save the princess, a few guaranteed brushes with death, and... A coupon for an all-you-can-eat dining experience at Monty's, home of the soup. The soup. Okay. Ooh, soup. Hmm, Dad does love Monty's. Let's do this. Round one. Fight. All right, Lil, what would you like to ask our trio of intrepid would-be heroes? What is your idea of the perfect rescue? What's your idea of a perfect rescue? Well, different article, but <laughs> got that one right. All right. And who would you like to ask? I, I'm sure War Killer here is very articulate. Let's not reinvent the wheel here. The easiest and fastest way to get the job done is simple. Smash and grab. What's simpler than that? I smack the baddies in their dumb faces, throw the princess over my shoulder, and hey, presto. Rescued. Boom. Done. Okay, not the voice I was expecting, but I'm digging the choice. Another adventurer, if you like. It begins with me vaporizing a few low level lackeys in the tide. Uh, then we build to a dramatic face off as a superior villain. <laughs> Soup centric, okay. Lightning flashes, <laughs> civil beasts are summoned and dispatched, all the fireworks come out. I cast a transfiguration spell, turning our would-be kidnapper into a small cricket, or a mouse, or anything really. It just has to be small, so I can keep it with me as a reminder of my awesome powers. Oh, I only get to. All right, cool. And your second question is. Mm hmm. How do you deal with magic users? You encounter an enemy party of magic users. One of them casts a level 3 magic missile spell. What do you do? And who's that one for? I have a, I have a feeling I know what he'd do. I'm more interested in the warrior and the rogue. If you think a bunch of pointy hats are getting to jump on me, you've got another thing coming. But okay, let's suppose some Penn and Teller wannabes do get me in their sights. Just watch these dodge skills. I'm over here now. And now I'm here. And now I'm back where I started. Blink of an eye. I'm like Nightcrawler over here. Okay. What about you, War Killer? You can ask another adventurer if you like. I'm, I'm gonna guess these will add just tank it in the face. <laughs> Magic users. They fill me with rage. Will and they rue a day? Rage, I can shrug off any kind of missile they may throw my way. I rip out the throat of the first, so the coward cannot warn their coward friends. Before the rest know what has hit them, I have. <laughs> I'll hit them before they know what hit them. I like it. Pile the bodies of the dead fools high in the air and burn them as a warning to all <laughs> others who would dare get in my way. That answer unearthed the full extent of your incompetence. I was ready to vow the child with mine. Let's stick to the format, folks. There's a rich tradition we're preserving here. Please, wait your turn. Hmm. A warrior does not wait his or her turn. He or she acts. All right, Neil, calm down now. <laughs> uh oh <laughs> Gaslighting me and the berserker spirits of my ancestors, Mike Melroy. <sighs> I think we're gonna start ruining any minute here. Uh oh, looks 
looks like the warrior has entered the heightened state of berserker mode. <laughs> Lil, which contestant do you think will be able to get us out of this dilly of a pickle? Well, I'm sure our 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 art art arctic I'm sure the mage has like a mind calming spell or something. You keep it together for just a few more seconds. You, what's your favorite animal? Moose are very cool. What? A moose? That's too big. I'm not licensed to conjure anything bigger than a bread box. A bread box, Lil. Blood rage. <laughs> 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 you died. <laughs> oh god. Ah, uh, that okay. Um <clears throat> Well, we've got a lot of other demos to uh Jared says how many game demos do you have for today? Uh, seven or eight. So, um I don't know why the 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 cursor oh. Well, that's weird. The, the cursor separates into RGB as it gets closer to the edge of the screen. Eh, that's interesting. <clears throat> Ruining the day yet, says Brian. Mm, mm, gaslighting me and the berserker spirits of my ancestors, Mike Melroy. <laughs> All right. Okay, uh, well... Very positive impressions of Little Guardsmen. Uh, it's charming, it's funny, and it's... Uh... You watch the trailer and you're thinking, oh, it's just a more cute version of Papers, Please. But it looks like this might actually be doing something a bit more than just that specific scenario. So, yeah, I'm, I, I dig it. It's got... It's... I like the art style, the humor's working for me, the music's actually quite good, so, yeah, thumbs up. Uh, how do I get out of here? Take me to the title screen so I can exit. There we go. Alright. Okay, let's see. So let's let's go to Noun Town. We'll learn we'll learn a new language. And let me uh, do a little bit of uh, changing things around here. There we are. And we'll edit our. Noun town. Here we go. Boom. All right, cool. Boop, 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 de boop. All right. Language learning software. Let's let's, let's see how this goes. It's noun town. The speech recognition in this demo is still in development and therefore may occasionally mishear words. Additionally, the final game will contain loads more content, including verbs, language lesson, lessons, plus loads more mini games. If you like the demo, do stuff. All right. Uh, can I use the controller? No, don't appear to be able to. All right. So I'll just put this over here. Doesn't, doesn't seem to use the mouse either. Okay. Well, let's see. What are the settings? Uh, uh, how do I back out of that? Uh oh. Uh. 
Um, I, I don't know how to exit the menu. Escape, tab, enter. I don't know how to get to the gameplay thing either, the, the gameplay tab. Well, this is, this is spacebar, control, alt, shift. I, 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 I genuinely have no, alt F4. <laughs> okay, uh, don't go into the, don't go into the settings menu. No idea how to get out of it. All right, new game. Use arrow keys or wasa to move. All right, sure. Where, where would you like me to move? Walk to the marker. Oh, here, here we are. Hello, marker. Press J to interact. Why J? Of all the keys on the keyboard, why J? But okay. Language selection. In Downtown, you can learn one or more languages. You can choose your active language here. J, alright. Maybe it's because you're supposed to type stuff and your right index finger sits on J. Alright. Chinese, French, German, Italian, Japanese, Spanish, Chinese, French. Alright, folks, uh, what do you want me to learn? French is probably going to be the funniest because I can't pronounce French at all. Uh, French, Chinese, Spanish, Japanese, Italian, or German. When in doubt, all F4 is a Soulcaster, yeah. Um, so, anyone in the chat uh, got some strong feelings on uh, which language I should be learning here? It's French. All right, fr French it is. Francais. Walk to the marker to continue. All right. Press J to grab the highlighted object. All right. Boom. Press K to see object info. Boom. Object information. Wine. Levin. Probably not, right? This is the object information screen. Here you can see uh, language and progress details about an object you're interacting with. Okay. Press U to hear the name of the object. The final boss says Lou straight away. That's right. Le vent. Le vent. Press H to say the name of the object. Wine. Uh oh, that wasn't recognized. Let's try that again. Wine. Cool, got it correct just by skipping it. Nice. Coloring objects using speech recognition is at the heart of Noun Town. Wait, I colored an object? Where, where'd it go? Press J to drop object. Okay, there we go. Object info. Okay, these are the basics. Now open the menu to access the map, then teleport to the house to begin learning. Escape. Map. Oh, airship. House. Yeah, I, I, I assume it was supposed to be in French, but I was just being silly. Alright, uh, by default, new rooms are empty and uncolored. Unpack some boxes to turn their objects into color. And it's got the French spelling. Well, and the Canadian spelling, I suppose. Uh, <clears throat> using speech recognition. Okay. Walk to one of the noun boxes. Alright, here we go. Ah, hey, there's a noun box. It's a noun box! It contains objects to learn the vocabulary for and to decorate the room with. You can open five boxes in a row before needing to test your learning on the learning kiosk. 
Pick up the noun box and then do speech recognition. All right, let's uh, press J to, I think it's a, is it a key? What is that? Uh-huh. Okay, so let's, it's a spoon. All right, so, la coulière, Let, let's see. La cuillère. La cuillère. La cuillère. La Alright, let's, uh... Was it H? La cuillère. La cuillère. Uh... Did, did I get it? <laughs> um... Is there a, let's see, I hate to go in settings, but do I need a headset microphone? Well, I, oh, 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 it's, it's recognizing my, um, my, uh, the, the PS4 controller. It's, it's, it was trying to use the PS4 controller, that, that's why it wasn't recognizing it. It's trying to use the, uh, the mic in this, that's what it was set to. Alright, let's try this again. Uh, what is it? La cuillera. La cuillera. La Cooley shit. <laughs> La Cooliera. Yes, no, maybe. I... Do I have to hold down H? La Cooliera. Test, test, one, two, three. I'm not getting any feedback that it actually recognizes that I'm saying anything whatsoever is the is the issue. Um, let's look at settings again. Yeah, that's that's my microphone. What else are you seeing? That doesn't have a microphone in it. Yeah, that that's uh that's it. Yeah, we'll just throw that on the floor, it's fine. Alright, let's try another one. Isn't... wasn't it J to pick something up? No? I'm pretty sure it was J, right? HD... Huh. La Cuillera. I mean, it's not even saying fail. La Cuillera. <laughs> the sound waves are lies. Um. All right, where's the kitchen? I don't think that's a kitchen. That's a bathroom, I think. Uh, maybe that. Oh, what the kitchen right here. <clears throat> so we'll just uh, drop the spoon. Yeah, that's definitely where I wanted to drop it. Good job. Uh, I think I just put the spoon in the fridge. Um. Yeah, I think. Um. I think I have to. Yeah, I think I have to, like, complete one noun before I can open up a new box. But... The... Something is wrong with the setup where it does not seem to actually be listening to anything, so... And I don't know how to get the spoon back anyway. Oop. Oh, spoon, spoon, spoon. Spoon. No. No. I mean, I'm looking at the spoon. I can see it in the upper right, but I'm not grabbing it. Okay. Andrew plus French equals broken game. So that's noun town. <laughs> let's, um... Let's give that one more try. See if we can get it to work. 
Let's, tr let's try a different language just to just to just to see. Uh huh. Mm hmm. Do to do to do do to do to do. Uh, let's go Spanish. Sure. Can I not slip? There it goes. Do 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 do. All right. What is Elvino? Okay. Uh huh. Mm hmm. Elvino. 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 Uh oh, that wasn't recognized. Let's uh check the settings again. Nope, still trying to use my wireless controller. Let's uh put it on the microphone. There we go. All right, let's give this another try. Elvino. Do you want to use my webcam? That's got a microphone in it. The capture card does not have a uh, microphone in it, so... Alright. Elvino! No? D do you really want to use the uh, PS4 controller? I mean, we, we, we can do that. Elvino. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, Soulcaster says, yeah, Demo got some bugs to work out. Like, like the speech recognition does not work at all. <laughs> uh, let me um, try one more thing here. <clears throat> uh, where? Okay. Let me just try an upper register. Elvino. Okay, so so it's 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 not the vocal range that is getting clipped or anything like that. So, all right. Well, that's noun town. It doesn't work. <laughs> the um, that, that's that's a shame. Interesting idea for a game, though. Uh, you go into a space, you pick up a bunch of objects, you learn what they are, you decorate your house with the objects. Uh, at some point, from the trailer, it looks like there will be NPCs, and they'll probably give you a quest like "Go grab the Elvino," and you have to know what they're talking about to see if you get the right object. So it's an interesting approach to language learning. I wish I could get it to work because it. Might have been fun to struggle through French for a you know twenty minutes, but oh well. Uh, let's let's uh, let's do something else. Uh, let's see what what do we got over here? That's the wrong wrong one. Uh, what's next? Yeah, well, Stray Gods, the music one. Uh, no, I don't want to purchase. I want to play the demo. The, where's where's play demo? This is this is the demo. Where's the play the demo button? I don't want to purchase it. I want to play the demo. Demo. Oh, well, okay. What if I what if I do this? Uh, Stray Gods demo. Failure. No licenses. You gotta buy the game to play the demo. You greedy asshole. So <laughs> okay. No Stray Gods for me. That's a shame. I was really looking forward to that one. Um. Ungar the. All right, let, let's let's do that one. So we'll just uh, get rid of noun town and guardy. Mm-hmm. Oops, that's the wrong screen. Edit and guardy. That in the list it is okay. Cool. Do 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 do. Bottom bob. Bottom bob. 
care, O Lord. Please be mine, you're my kind of girl. So that's two broken demos? No, that's, that's only one, I think. Oh, no, no, downtown and, uh, um, Stray, Stray, Stray Gods? Some, what the hell's the name of it? Uh, Stray Gods, yeah. There we go. Yeah, I mean, I don't know if the demo's broken, it just doesn't seem to be a link to the demo. It's like, no, maybe the demo ended. Maybe the, the game, like, launched today or yesterday or recently and they delisted the demo because the game is live now. But maybe that's a thing. Well, good, because I prefer gamepads. All right. On guard. El Misterioso Adventuro, Adven, Adversario de El Vigilante. Okay. The Mysterious Adversary, the Vigilante. All right. Press any. There we go. Uh, short tale to learn the game basics. Yeah, that sounds fun. Select a difficulty. Yeah, medium's fine, I guess. If you fail in battle, try sucking less. People say I'm a troublemaker, but it was in the family. That day, my brother woke me up early in the morning. Adaria, Marita, get up! A handsome and mysterious masked gentleman has run off with your sword! Really? Where did he go? I'll catch up to him. No, he was too agile and ooh, so acrobatic. Mm. No challenge can stand up to Adaria de Volador. Exile Hello says, I heard the word demo enough times to give me flashbacks of me There's failing at a game that played by voice commands. Was it, um... Was it Lifeline, I think it's called? Old PlayStation game? Great concept, but yeah, just doesn't work. Alright, camera. No, no, Alright, got a... Uh, no, not that. Um, gameplay, camera sensitivity, but... Vertical, there we are. That's Yeah, that, that's how we like it. The correct way to move the camera. That's that's what I'm talking about. Good lord, that is a slow trot. Alright. We're in no rush, it's fine. Yep. Rib? Uh is it this one? Nope, there is it this one. Ha! <laughs> so he dares to steal my sword and leave me with painted directions? He seeks to mock me. Oh, so it's unlocked the... so I can kick. Hey, butterfly. Yeah, screw you, butterfly. Okay, I, I, I can dodge. I can jump. And I can kick. Alright. Time to knock on the door. Okay, no one's home. Uh, game, I, I I figured out the camera and the movement. You can uh, you can hide that now. That's fine. Got it. Feeling pretty good about the uh, the left and the right stick now. So uh, if you want to take that off the screen, that's fine. Don't really need it anymore. I mean, it's nice to have that reference, I suppose. I'd recognize those pantaloons and codpiece anywhere. Well, I mean, maybe not a... what? El Vigilante! El... El Vigilante? Okay. That thou art bold to protect this city from the wicked Count Duke and his minions? <laughs> Count Duke? <laughs> That's pretty good. Then prove to me that you are equal to the task. Oh, Soulcast. Uh, it was a game, uh, XL says it was a game called There Came an Echo. Huh. I haven't heard of that. Although Soulcaster's remembering Hey You Pikachu. Ugh. Complete my triumphs 
And if you succeed, not only shall I return thy soul. I think I rented that from Blockbuster when I was young, and I ended up slinging profanities at that little yellow rat because he wouldn't listen to me. I shall allow you to join me as my devoted sidekick. There was also Odama, which was, I think, for the GameCube that used a, uh, vo a voice recognition. It was like a weird pinball game with little dudes that you controlled on the table. Weird, cool concept. Didn't work to play at all, though, so... My, my, such a lot of big talk for someone I've never heard of, El Vigilante. El Vigilante. But I will gladly face these trials of yours, for I will emerge victorious. Victorious, you say? <laughs> Hold LT while moving to sprint. Okay. I guess that's not T. There we go, there's T. Can I jump while running? Yes, I can. Right. Jump down the stairs! Don't break ankles! Ha ha! Oh, it just didn't float, it just kind of disappeared. Oh, yeah, the, these. You would expect them to float, but they do not. <laughs> They're very heavy barrels. Alright, where am I supposed. Oh, get this way, I guess. I don't know where he went. Huh. How uncouth do you think I am? Messing up a pretty person's face. I like how the uh, the the foliage loaded last. <laughs> it's a demo. It's fine. Wee. Huh? Well, that 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 looks like something I shouldn't walk under. So let's walk under it. No, no. All right. Yeah. There's my sword. Even if the city was safe, I'd feel naked without her. Sword, huh? <laughs> I just like this little uh, sneaky animation here. That's pretty good. Uh, is it this one? There we are. Oh, her dialogue got cut off. Alright, you automatically target enemies close to you to change targets. Use... Whatever the X button would be, I guess it would be square on the PlayStation controller. Uh, you can exit targeting by sprinting. Alright. I don't know which button is accept. Uh, is it start? Is it the, the big pad in the center? Is it... Um... Oh, okay, it's the share button. The one button I didn't try. Well, watch! Hi- that's not X. Um, not PlayStation X. Uh, Xbox X. Ha! Unguard! Unguard you too! Take care, Soulcaster. Ha! You better watch out. I've just been training. That will do. Okay, I, I killed a dude, so it's it's fine. Yep, that guy's dead too. Alright, press Y, which is probably this one. Uh, before an, a, a ha a, an attack hits to parry the enemy, this will allow you to repost in it with an attack, alright? More of them? Uh, where are they? Show me what you got. I win. Hello? Oh. Ah, oh, if 
if it isn't the city guard. Or should I say, the Count Duke's private army of goons? What's all this ruckus? The Count Duke has forbidden dueling within the city walls. I'm really digging the exaggerated voiceover style. It's making me happy. I, I'm, I'm kind of wishing the, the, the soundtrack, which is fine and appropriate, would just go way more... would go as overboard as the, um, the dialogue delivery is. That just means it takes twice as much courage. On guard! She said the name! Alright, use attacks and parries to reduce the soldier's guard! They're on guard! Beware of his counterattacks. You must parry each of their consecutive attacks before you can repost. Alright. Defeat the soldier with that. Alright. Okay, I get. Huzzah! Like everything is so overdone from the from the design, the delivery, everyone's outfits. Um but the music is just kinda it's fine, it's appropriate, but it's not as heightened as everything else, which I think is a missed opportunity. You are guarding this place? My reputation precedes. <laughs> Aerial attack. You'll uh, fear my vengeance. I'm kind of digging the choice that all these guards are just kind of shit at at witty <laughs> repartee and comebacks and stuff. It's like uh, you'll taste my steel sword of vengeance. Sure. <laughs> uh. Oh, there's someone over there. Oh, my ankles! Glad these boots have ankle support. Hello. You don't have any right to be here. You were saying? We'll catch you next time. <laughs> you bet. this over here. That is not the right bumper, Andrew. It looks like a culinary debate over paella pie, pie has been going on here. Wait, what? Chorizo? I've never been one for adhering to recipes, but this is where I draw the line. Next, I'll be putting pineapple on pizza or something, which hey, I actually like. So. Quit your job. Yes, well, next time, next time I'll beat you. Oh, hi, chicken. Oh, we can we pet the chicken? That's still not RB. We can pet the chicken. <laughs> and she's got a couple different voice samples for multiple pets. That's great. Can I smack the chicken? Okay. Would have been funnier if I'd said choke, but yeah. Too late now. Is this what I think it is? There is more to what we do than mere sword play. Kick crates at oh, dummy. How resistful you are. Okay. Show me how shot wits can turn anything into a tool for battle. Can you rehearse this? Dante, are you afraid of facing me directly? No. Just not the right one. Or on place. So, uh, Lou says, strong your mother was a hamster and father smelt of the elderberries vibes here. Yeah. <laughs> Lou's, ah yes, the famous lackey whose reputation precedes him. Yeah. Alright, groups of soldiers, very dangerous. They defend each other using red attacks that you must dodge. Okay. 
Oh, okay. So, g getting kind of a, a Batman Arkham Games influence with the, you know, the blue stuff you parry, the red stuff you outright dodge. Which, fair enough, that's a great combat system. Uh, try to prevent you from dueling them, alright. That's the wrong button. Which one was dodge? It was this one. Okay. Did I make you cry? Use your environment. Uh, disperse groups of enemies. Kick an object to stun them and stuff. Okay. Use the stone of them. And you're missing the point. Show me how you use your environment when you open. I never learned. I think I handled that pretty well. BB to roll. At least open the gate the whole way. Just throw it under it. Why did I get out of bed today? Chicken. They are making everything illegal nowadays. How can the citizens suffer this? Uh, por favor, no Pegway cartels. Please, no. Not sure. It's illegal. Uh, I don't know those words. That's illegal. That's illegal. El Ladrón de la Sierra. Um, mi espanol es muy mal. All right. <laughs> okay, well. I'm about to commit. The dialogue in a lot of cases is a little mistimed, but nah. Have I ever told you about the barrel ambush tactic? Uh, like the one I did a minute ago. Sure. Notice to all traders and merchants: today is a mandatory holiday to celebrate the birth of our beloved new mayor. All shops and markets must close for the day. Please take heed of this announcement, as any violations will be met with swift and severe punishment. We thank you for your cooperation and wish you all a pleasant day off. Signed, the Count Duke's office. Okay. Olé. Olé. Okay, just going to interrupt that line of dialogue. That's fine. All right, remember, use your environment to buy time and disperse your foes. Stunned enemies will be unable to act for a long time. Some actions will also surprise enemies, which stops them for a short time. All right. Um, I keep smacking the wrong button. This won't be the last time you hear of Adalia de Volador. Oh, and the little little chickens on the loading screen. That's nice. All right. You know what you get for being a hero. Oh, nothing. Oh, I eat my mustache. <laughs> Way to 
Oh, hey, I can vault. Open door in dramatic fashion. There we go. All right. Keep an eye on the enemy's fatigue bar to know which. Okay. <sighs> Gentlemen, for your bribe to be paid in full, wait by the docks for a dashing young woman in a feathered hat to kick you into the water. Don't ask any questions. <laughs> Signed, Elvish Uh Okay. Okay. That's that's a funny way to do it. Do, 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 so, do. This must be another trial, see? Hi. I'm being paid handsomely to do this. <laughs> Don't you people have anything better to do? No. This is easy money. Oh, well. <laughs> I lost a bit. That's pretty good. I hope he's not dead. Hey, right. You're not dead, right? Right? I was sleeping. It's had a hard day. Some enemies will resist your kicks, but you can kick uh, them while they're surprised or stunned. Okay. Ha! Yeah. Ooh. For you're not getting me in that water. I just had my mustache waxed. Yes, for you. Go with the flow. Get it? Cause water flow. Okay. Don't mess with me. I have an arsenal at my back. Hmm. Thanks, Mother You can kick enemies into various traps, such as weapon racks. All right. Send my regards to the Gaun Duke. How can you say that? You're not part of the guard. I planned you do this. <laughs> I planned you do. Yeah. Hmm. Read. Can we can we read the book? No. Okay. Oh, hey. Whoop. That one looks like an easy target. Hey, it's me. Poor Finn. Finally, a wanted poster that actually does me justice. Eh, not bad. All right, let's boing, 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 boing. So he's just going to lead me through an entire garrison of guards? His brain must have dried up. Has he? Let's All right. Alright, gotta push enemies in water. 
Ow, ow. Someone notices my talent. I dropped my day. Ow. I'm even better. I, I won. For some reason, I keep. Like my instinct is to instinct it. to is to press completely different buttons for dodging and uh, parrying. I di don't know what game is in my head, but that's still not the right button. I want to use the shoulder buttons, and they're just not the right buttons. And I. I think I dodged straight into the water, is what that one was. So much for military training. There, okay, there we go. That's what I was trying to do. Someone come over here. That was a nice little boing, boing, boing kind of sound effect on the uh, pole I was vaulting off of. Okay, well, I guess we just weren't that interested. Game needs a demo, but they need to do a little bit of work on the uh, the dialogue timing. Because it's uh, a little bit off. Yep. appears to be the hideout where the guards keep their wine. I'd love to replace it with dirty dishwasher, uh, with dirty dish water, but no. Not the time. <laughs> to our esteemed employer, in case of emergency during our shift, you can find us at the tavern playing cards and enjoying cerveza. Uh, we'll be back at your guard post in no time. Your most loyal guards... Fulano and Mingano. Alright, well. Glad they're having a nice time. This book's a classic. It's about some uh, Picaro who got rich, then poor, then rich again. Alright. Oops. These, uh. These rugs are weird. I've never seen anyone do rugs, you know, this type of, I forget what it's called, but this type of rug like that. It's kind of cool, though.
Dum diddly doo. Alright, combat arena. In a group fight situation, you must be smarter than your enemies. Stay on the move to gain an advantage. Experiment with your environment. Alright. Okay, we put a bucket on his head. Got it. Now it's personal. You call that the training? Your fortunes never come alone. She won't let me be. That's again the wrong button. I, I do like how they just like, oh, she's done, and they walk back to their post. That's pretty funny. Disengage and move away. I'm she who's done one day can't be up the next, unless she really wants to stay back. That is. <laughs> Shall we begin? This is actually harder than Batman. <laughs> I wonder how much trouble El Vigilante can get himself into on his own. Oh, there you are. I thought you were coming out from the other side and I put some decoration for you and everything, but uh, really, it's fine. And Sorry. Now Versus my valor, poet, and face your trials, Vietnam. 
Remember, your brother gave you strict instructions, Dr. Hart. Uh, he said, not your face. Hi, I could tell you two are very close. N not as close as your defeats, senor. All right, LB, which is like, is, is it this one? No, it's this. An X to perform powerful sword strike, which breaks the enemy's guard instantly. All right. I can do this all day. No. No. Okay. Now this is what I'm talking about for the soundtrack. Now it's getting fun. I'm 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 digging this particular cue. This is nice. Whoop, wrong button. No wonder they call you the mischievous No, wrong one again. Wrong one again. God damn, I just keep hitting the wrong button. It's not what I Like my timing is correct. I'm like, oh, dodge. Uh, wrong button. <laughs> just keep slamming the wrong damn button. You shouldn't be afraid of showing your true self. God damn, why can I not hit the right button here? There we go. Pretty sure I hit the dodge button the right time this time, but she apparently not. One day can be up the next, unless she really wants to stay in bed. That is. Uh, surprise! Nothing ventured, nothing gained. Naturally, you'd expect me to come here. That is a pun. God damn, I cannot get it into my head that this is the dodge button. For some reason, that will not get into my head. I keep hitting the wrong button.
same button again. Come on, Adalia, you can do better than this. Uh, even the even the fact that I'm I just oh, cannot get it into my head for some reason that this is the uh, can I change. I actually can. I should... might want to think about uh, changing the controls around to better suit what my brain seems to be wired to do. The mischievous magpie. Which goddamn button is it? Jesus, there we go. bad at this. Yeah. What's the... I'm genuinely surprised how hard this is. One thing that makes this very difficult is there are several prompts coming in at once. As I recall in the Batman Arkham games, even when you're surrounded by, like, eight guys, there's one prompt at a time. You just have to be able to, oh, no, a, a blue attack's coming in. Parry it. Oh, no, red attack's coming in. Guard it. Uh, right? This one, you can guard something and something two other things might be coming in at the same time, which makes it really tough. Also, constantly hitting the wrong button is not helping. Also, some of these prompts are very, very quick. I am struggling to just get away. I can't. Mm, just constantly hitting the wrong damn buttons. Like, I, I can't remember which one of these is run. And I, I can't remember what the control for uh, disengage from someone is. That is that prompt right there. That is less than a second. That is very fast for a game that I'm just getting into. Oh yeah, just, just kick it in any old direction. That's fine. Can't see. Yeah, just just kick that any old direction, that's fine. Yep, not helpful. I'm pretty sure I had dodge on that one. That one I didn't agree with, but usually it's just me hitting the wrong damn buttons. 
Maybe my muscle memory from uh, Tears of the Kingdom is messing me up. Maybe. I don't know. Where is he? Oh, there he is. Can't get a yeah. The game wants you to get away, but man, it, this is really hard. I mean, it's cool, but it's just really, really damn hard. Okay, I. That's it for me. I I can't do it. At least right, it'd take a lot more practice. So. Very cool game though. I, I I like it. It's got a it's got a nice style. It's got a nice uh, got a nice feel. The combat is actually fun, although I think they need to tune down the goddamn difficulty, especially for. Well, it might just be the demo them showing up. It gets really hard later. That kind of a thing. Maybe the full game actually has a more gentle uh, difficulty curve going in, but good god, that is very, very hard. Uh, dialogue relies a little bit too much on movie references, um, but the original dialogue is actually very funny. Overall, quite like it. I think that's a pretty cool game, so, so good on them. Uh, this button. There we go. Okay. What's next? Also, it's nice that it has button remapping, because good god damn, I could not get it into my head that this circle is the dodge button. For some reason, that would not stick. I don't know why. Anyway. Alright, let's see. What do we got next? Uh, Alright, stars in the trash. Where is it? Is this still purchase only? I mean, did they? Where's the store page? Let's see. Is the demo gone? Planned release date of August 3rd. I don't see the demo. Maybe they just delisted the demo. Yeah, I, th I think it's just a matter of the demo doesn't exist anymore. Alright, well, whatever. It's a shame, would have really liked to play that. Uh, what are we doing next? Uh, Star of the Trash, let's see. A uh, demo may not fully reflect the quality and polish of the final game. Uh, maybe bugs? Sure. Scoobly do one. Let me just sec here while I reset stuff. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Alright. My controller's not doing anything, so. Fine. Oh wait, controls. Uh, it's keyboard. All right, fine. Uh, 
I like it. Uh, we, we've got a melodic jingle going on for uh, w when pressing the um, various options. That's a nice touch. Alright, stars in the trash. Let's go. And the game has its own border? That's interesting. Kitty! Doggy! Oh, is, is that a prompt for me? Let me... Left arrow. Mm-hmm. Now what? More arrows? There we go. Okay, space is jump. Jump on the dog. Eat the dog's food. Oh, good job, Javier. I uh, missed the last name, because... Oh. Uh, right above the cat's tail. That I think that's an electrical outlet. I thought it was a prompt at first. It is not. Okay, and someone paid a lot of money to frame a picture of me getting a bath. Okay. off the bottom of the screen there and what is what is that what is on the bottom of the screen there's like an artifact on the very bottom of the screen that's a uh, right under the mouse's tail there, there's this line coming up I don't know don't know what that is <laughs> all right we want to get the kibble Jump on the counter. Uh, push the pot of soup away. No, no, can't. No, that's not gonna work. All right, let's, let's, let's see something else. Uh, jump over here, then up onto the uh, the awning for the. Okay, that, that's what we'll do. Cats. Quest for kibble! Whoop. Whoop. Steak, potatoes, milk, eggs, bread. X. Yes, that's it's exactly as we intended. Whoop. I hate this child. He's the one who gave me the bath. X. Keep scratching at the door, okay. Soon the bathroom will flood. Why do I have an M on my head? What am I doing? What what is what does that represent? Ah, uh, just gonna drag my ass along the ground. Okay, that's that's a thing we're doing now. Sure. Glad we got that out of our system. Oh, hey, there's a, there's an open vent. Alright, can we... Yeah, goddamn toilet paper. doing, you weird child? Oop. There we go. Curl? Oh, no, that says control. No idea. And, okay, the, and we framed a large picture of the dog grooming me, too. Let me out. 
I will drag my ass on your carpet. Don't think I won't. Mm-hmm. Oh, sneaky sneak. Okay, I got it. I have no idea what that child is doing. No, we just, just like a cat, got out of the bathroom and now we want back in. Uh, okay. And it uh, looks like the folks got married on April 12th. But I want out, you see. Yeah, cont holding control enables stealth mode, so. The next day. And the dog's missing. Uh, we shouldn't go that way. I, where am I? There we are. Okay, and the framed picture of me looking surly. And the dog looking stupid. And the kid looking stupid. Alright. They learned their lesson and didn't leave the kibble out. So. What's the matter, pup? What, what are you whining at? Is that the fox and the hound? What is that? long enough it just sits and purrs. That's an original animation. Okay. Do, do, do you want the toy? Is that, is that it? Oh, no, I'm gonna get it. Stop whining. Even though you prevented me from going outside. Whoop. There. You're welcome. And music took a turn. Okay, good good loading icon. Uh, is that the evil vacuum cleaner monster? Is that what that is? Vacuum cleaner. Alright, boss fight. Let's see if we do better here than we did tap. Uh. 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 Aha! Oh no! There we go. Run away! Show that vacuum who's boss. Now 
I'll keep showing them. Stupid vacuum. I'll just, uh... There we go. Cat wins. Well, okay, our work here is done. We, we broke the vacuum cleaner. Uh, and out we go. Uh, no, the, but I got you. See if I get you a squeaky toy tomorrow, buddy. The next day, I wake up alone. Still have an M tattooed on my forehead for some reason. Oh gosh. Someone outside. could use a rebalancing. The music is a lot louder than the uh, sound effects and some of the incidental noise. I keep having to readjust the volume. Okay. We hope you enjoyed playing this short demo of, well, it was short, of Stars in the Trash. There's a lot we want to add and improve on, so we'd like to kindly ask you for your support along the way. Wish listing the game on Steam helps us keep more visibility on the store and uh, sends you a notification when the game finally launches. And there's a Discord. Okay, well, it's, um, it's cute. Um, not much of a game so far. There's not very clear direction of what you're supposed to be doing or what your options are. You're just kind of aimlessly wandering and doing stuff. Also, I really, 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 truly, utterly despise keyboard controls. I, I don't know why anyone enjoys that. It is terrible. Please, please you just use a controller or something. Um, I mean, you know, the, the left and right is fine, space for jump, but Z, X, and C for, what, that's completely unnatural, why, I get, maybe I'm supposed to just put these three fingers on those keys, but my fingers just naturally rest on A, D, uh, A, S, D, and F, so I keep having to, you know, hit Z, X, and it's weird, it doesn't feel right, I don't like it, but it's got a cat in it, it's very cute, so. So there's that. All right, what do we got next? Uh, oh, we've got the. Uh, it did say best on gamepad. No, it didn't. It there was no gamepad. Pretty sure it said. I mean, one of them said best. I think on guard said best on gamepad. Let's look at that again. Did I miss that? Oh well, why didn't it work? Maybe not this gamepad. Oh, well, okay, the select button, but the up and down... Wait, did, did it use the stick for the... Maybe the, the select screen only uses the control stick. So let's uh, give this another little try here. Just a few bits of it. Mm-hmm, sleepy kitty. Okay, does not seem to be built for the PlayStation controller. It's not working. Alright. Good eye, though. 
All right, what's what's next? Next is uh, Ebenezer and the Cruel Goodbye Cruel World or something. Uh, there we are. Ebenezer and the Invisible World. All right, let me redo this real quick. Ebenezer and the Invisible World, that's what it is. All right. Looks good, looks good. Got this, got this, okay. Made with unity! The air was filled with phantoms wandering hither and thither in restless haste and moaning as they went, very erotically. Every one of them wore chains like Marley's ghost. The misery with them was clearly that they sought to interfere for good in human matters and had lost the power forever. Okay. There, new game. Once upon a time. Has a harp and a piano. Nice. Mm hmm. If there is a pathway to redemption for Casper, it will weave through the people in his life that meant most to him and knew him well. Even if you knew Casper Malthus was once as a good man, that was some time ago. How can you be sur sure that such a person still exists? Well, I mean, you're no longer a Scrooge, right, Ebenezer? I confess I am not well informed on the metamorphosis that transpired within him. It is imperative that we unravel how he became the man he is today. Casper kept a journal in the London Observatory, secreted away from the prying eyes of his father. If that journal is still there, it may help us understand how he drifted so far from how I remember him. I, too, was once a man that had lost his way and hated Christmas, bah humbug. My good friend Jacob Marley helped me see that. I see that you are doing the same for your friend, Casper Malthus. Very well. I will find Casper's journal. Thank you, Ebenezer. You must exercise the utmost caution tonight. Gasper has already put into motion his plan to displace the workers of London. Workers are protesting, and soon there will be a standoff between the protesters and the Malthus private guard. Why are, you, why are you about to draw down on me, man? The guard has been deployed to patrol the streets, no doubt eager to showcase their mettle to anyone sympathetic towards the plight of the workers. Thank you for your warning, spirit. I shall make my way now to the London Observatory to find Gasper's drill and learn the truth! We take ghosts in stride now. Okay, we can move, we can jump. I mean, do we have a sword or a cane or something? I'm not even sure what that is. Oh, we've got a Symphony of the Night backdash. Can't spam it though. Can I do it in the air? No. Can I attack in the air? Yes. And the shoulder buttons don't seem to do anything. Okay. Be careful outside, sir. There have been a uh, protest recently here in London, and they have become quite dangerous. Yeah. Ma'am? No, no. Right. Other ma'am? No? Right. Okay. Can I go up the stairs? No. I am a spry old man. Fezziwig! How pleasant to see the bright face of my former employer. Hello, Ebenezer. 
You have made much of yourself since you worked for my company. I am here to provide assistance as you advance your, in, your, in your quest. Thank you, grateful. There's never been a limit to curiosity. Press whatever button that is to access your map. London is a big city with many places to explore, and the map is essential to making your way through the city. Okay, I think it's share. Okay. Okay, so, so far, so good. We haven't explored to the right yet, so we'll, we'll have to do that. Alright, main quest. Stave 1. Go to the worker's strike near the London city center. Someone may need your help. Uh, okay, whatever. Uh... Oh, okay, this is just here. Alright. <sighs> Alright, well, let's go to the left. I like the, uh... Not completely opaque, but uh, foreground characters walking back and forth. And we got some background action there. It looks really nice. Oh, and we've got some uh, people uh, milling about inside. You know what? Pretty nicely done. Bedlam Asylum. Okay, well, we can't... I'm not sure how anyone... I mean, there's people back there, Ebenezer. You could just walk around, or... I guess we can come back later when we get the double jump. Or something. Do I have a sprint button, or... No. No. <laughs> bah humbug. Mm. Bah humbug. Are, are you tiny, Tim? Bah humbug. Hurrah, Ebenezer! It's Christmas time again! Thank you for your kindness this year. You have truly changed, and I'm not dead. Bah humbug. <laughs> humbug, humbug, humbug. So many in the city are in want of work without a penny to their name. How soon will it be before they perish of hunger? Uh, the affluent and bourgeois go about their day in blissful ignorance of the workers' plight. <sighs> we shall not be long before Malthus is pressured to quell these protests. <sighs> Give us back our jobs! Give us our dignity! Something strange is going on. My son said he saw a ghost. Uh, yeah, I see one too. Ebenezer, that protest just ahead is in peril and requires aid. Can you intercede on my behalf? I mean, do you want me to just beat people up? We are not the surplus population! Workers unite! Oh. Oh heavens. Please don't! I surrender! No, Leslie, stand up for yourself. If the whole crowd's behind you, look at the signs. You there! Unhand that man! Though he may have committed transgressions, he has surrendered himself. You and your friends are not but the surplus population. Accept your fate, you pitiable swine. Oh, heavens, killed that guy. You're next, old codger. Dodge enemy attacks using the backstab. Okay. And it's the same damn button. Let's see if I can get into my head which button the dodge is. Ha-ha! Uh. Mark my words, this shall be reported to someone. Bye-bye, Mr. Plague Mask. Thank you, kind sir. Let me help you home. No, I will be fine. You need to find a safe haven for Warren Gastrel. is a merciless fellow, and you are in grave peril in his presence. Gastrel is not just neutralizing protesters. He and the Malthus private guards are hurting anyone involved in their protests. Now you'll be on his list, too. I shall heed your warning. Find safety. <laughs> Eric, why were you unable to help that man yourself? 
I had the wish to aid that man, but my curse in the afterlife is that I cannot. You, Ebenezer, have been visited by the Christmas spirits and can see me and other ghosts. I can help those in need through you, and I can help you. For granting assistance to that man on behalf, I shall join you tonight and help you further. Cool. Can I have a double jump? Alright, select... Att I didn't get a chance to read that. Uh, we need spirit to use attack ghosts. Regain spirit by hitting enemies with your cane. That's what he's swinging. Alright. Alright. Uh, press enter to open and set. Is it this one? Okay. Okay. Leave the mansion. We did that. We helped the workers. Now we got to find our way to the London, London Observatory. Boy, we got a lot of stuff here. No equipment. No heirlooms. No items. Got some quests, though. Ghosts. Eric Fellows was a childhood friend of Casper Malthus, and the two were like brothers. After the death of Casper's brother Victor, the boys grew apart. Eric joined the Royal Navy, Navy shortly before the Crimean War in opposition to his parents' wishes and was sent to Sebastopol to fight the Russians. He was... He was died in an artillery accident during the siege of the city. Eric knows that Ebenezer was visited by the Christmas spirits and can see and communicate with spirits. He visited Ebenezer and hoped they could help Casper and remind him of his nature. Alright. Adds critical hit chance 25. Oh, okay. The Malthus Enforcer Riot Shielder is a massive, burly soldier who relies on brute strength and intimidation to control crowds. The... Pardon me. The riot shielder wields a heavy baton and a large shield to physically push back against protesters and instill fear. His size alone can be intimidating to those who might challenge him. His determination and unyielding nature have earned him the respect and admiration of his colleagues in the Malthus Private Guard. Fear and awe of those who dare to cross him. And 25% uh, drop of coins. 50 chance he drops crap. Uh, oops. Alright. Um. Okay. okay. Oh, but that, that burns up my meter, so I need to be careful with that. <laughs> On the far west side of the city is the old Jonathan Bedlin Asylum. I've always had a feeling there was something strange going on there, but I could never prove it. It's a dangerous place now in any case. Stay away. Uh, Alright. Okay, got turkey. Uh, do we want to use it? Okay, so it's a health restorative. Oh, hi. Right. Lady Adeline. Lady Adeline grew up loving the stage and later became a theater critic for the local newspaper, the, the Pemberley Gazette. As a credentialed commentator, Adeline was ruthless with her criticism, failing to ever offer a kind word to the thespians who worked so hard to produce a play for her to enjoy. In the afterlife, she continues to criticize the world the world her around and throws tomatoes at those she views as pastiche. Okay, um... Need to... need to... need to proofread this stuff, guys. Can I go down? No. Uh. Money, money, money! I've got five coins, all right. Well, hey, Fizzywig, forgive my intrusion. You do not need to apologize. Fizzywig, you're a great help. If you continue, if you continue right, you will find a save room. A save room is where you can save progress and replenish your health and spirit. Look for the sign in the feather pen. Every save room has this sign nearby. Thank you, Fizzywig. This one, okay. Far end? No. Um. Okay. A little under.
understated, but cool. Quit it, Adeline. Sadly, the, the button for map is toggling on and off. Ow. In other words, I can't, you know, I normally would just, you know, open map and then be like, okay, I'm done. No, I want to leave. I have to hit the same button again. Not a huge deal, but... Slide. No, okay. Alright, the someone might want to fix that. You there! Ebenezer, I see you have stopped to notice my lamp flames. Put on quite a show with your flames. How do you know my name, Ghost? There's much I know about the people of London, much that some may prefer I don't. I'd, I bet he watches people taking dumps. I remember you now. You were quite the town whisperer. You're quite proud of your gossip. That was then and this is now. I lit the flames to catch your attention. I need your assistance. Prominent journalist Salvatore Garcia is writing a story about the accident in the Malthus factory. The one they say Declan Doyle is responsible. I fear with the unrest on the streets tonight he could be hurt or injured if he takes his normal route. I know a safer path. My request, Ebenezer is to ensure that the street lamps can be seen along this route so that Garcia may reach his destination unharmed. Many are covered with snow. Can you make sure the snow is removed from the lamp and the lamps shine, shine bright? Sure. Uh, no. Lamp one, two, and three. All right. Lamp one. There we go. Hi, lady. I haven't seen Phoebe today. I am worried about her. Oh. Sorry to hear that. Are you Phoebe? Are you dead? No, it's Buster. You! I know you. You're Ebenezer Scrooge. You're that rich, miserly old man that yells at children for laughing too loud. You made my friend cry. Yes, young man, I regret to say this is so. London has been generous with the laughter of children, and I found it quite a bother at the time. I would like to make amends. As your friend nearby, I would like to apologize. Phoebe is in trouble. She snuck into a building to look f uh, to, to the right, looking for food, without realizing it was occupied by Malthus guards. Now she's trapped and scared. Can you help her, sir? This nice lady here, Marianne, has been taking care of Phoebe and can take her to safety if you find a way for Phoebe to exit the building. Of course I will help. I will find Phoebe and help her to safety. Okay. Yep. Well, hi, ghost. Are you a good ghost or... No, you bad ghost. Bad, bad ghost. That's Harvey. Harvey was a postman who resented the good fortune of others and was always jealous when, other, when others had something good in their lives. Kind words of love and joy often arrived in an envelope, and he would hide the letter so it never reached the recipient. If he doesn't receive good news, why should anyone else? Harvey still walks a mailman's route looking to ruin someone, anyone's joyful day. What a schmuck. Lamp two. Well, I, that this is a one way. Can we get up? All right. I'm guessing that's Phoebe. Hi, Phoebe. Be right with you, kiddo. I ain't lying. 
Hi. Oh. Cheese. Sand has been found. Okay, found some sand. Uh, oh, it's an upgrade material. Which I can't do anything about right now. Alright. Hello. Phoebes, you are Phoebes. Ah, ah, ha chew, a chew. Oh no, I hope the Malthus guards didn't hear me sneeze. Is your name Phoebe? Because I'm not helping you if it's not. Do you know a boy named Buster? Oh, dear Buster, he was my best friend. My mother and Buster and I were to be married when we were of age. We're not, dear child? I mean, you're not going to marry him because he's dead, but I'll help you get out. Marianne is close by and she can take Phoebe to safety. There's a lever just above your head that will open this door. I can help you get up there so you can activate it. Alright. Press attack and... Okay. You know, game, you might want to leave that on the screen until I have a chance to read it, because I was actually watching the preview footage and didn't read the dialogue yet. You know, just, uh... Just thought I'd, uh... put that out there. Alright, uh, press X and down to execute a bounce kick. Okay. Uh, down and X. Oh, well, X would be this button, right? No. What is it? X. X plus down. While in the air, that seems like a like like an important like an important point. <laughs> Phoebe, you okay? This house is dangerous. I must get you to safety. Yes, I'm okay. I'm so happy to see you, Marianne. Please, let's leave. I'm so scared. And this is a, a little sloppy, how we're tinting the screen red, but it's a uh, rectangle that doesn't exactly fit the screen, so it looks weird. I, I mean, again, it's a demo, it's a work in progress, but still. Thanks for finding Phoebe, she was my best friend in life. With your help and Marianne, Phoebe's safe. I will join you on your quest, Ebenezer! Oh, okay. So we got a downward attack. All right. And we've got a ledge grab with our cane. All right. Boik, boik. Can't quite get up there. All right. Hi. Oh, well, jeez. Got bodied there. doing kids Phoebe has decided to come live with us at the orphanage we are so happy oh okay glad to hear that yeah I got a bowl of rice there we go mashed potatoes okay 
Uh, mugwort. Uh, which, uh, which are herbs. So, okay. Vision Patrol, huh? Hmm. Um, alright. Feel kind of bad about this. She seems to be minding her own damn business, but... Uh, I probably should have left her alone. She's not even in my enemies list. That's Harvey, and Harvey's a jerk, so we don't like Harvey. No. Alright, got some more mugwort. And more sand, alright. Four, but you know. Some uh, red berries. All right, we can uh, got uh, got some lead. A bag of uh, who the hell knows? Because it didn't say that time. Much too early to meet a friend. My pocket watch does not keep good time. Oh, okay. I gotta say, I'm not really feeling this one. Right, any indication of where I need to go?
I mean, I like the general concept of a Metroid game starring Ebenezer Scrooge, and he employs, you know, the help of ghosts to uh, do stuff. So that's that's kind of a fun idea. Uh, let's go down here, I guess. Hey, Harvey. Doors open. It's nice. Hi. Is this door open? No, it is. All right. I remember your map. All right. Yep. I remember. Doing the time warp. figures. That's right. No having fun. Now's not a good time. I have matters to attend to. Alright. Sweet Lorraine. My Lorraine. When I marry sweet Lorraine. Most of these enemies just seem to be kind of minding their own business. They're just in the way. Can I go in here? Yep. Do I want to go in there? Dude, stop pooping fire all over the place. of mirrors. No, nothing. Oh, well, there's a... Well, I can't get to it. What am I hanging off of? like a secret area or is it a might just be a glitch I'm not really sure well uh, doesn't seem to be anything I can do in there oh but let's grab some uh, coal yep I've, I've, I've got some things don't know what to do with them though good time. Now is not a good time. Let me relook at something real quick. Okay, so there's a something down. Can I drop off of something? Not that button. No. I guess it's this church. Yeah, okay, that's what it is. But I can't seem to do anything in here. have to slowly run back the other way because it's a 
few screens before there's actually anywhere to be, anywhere to go. Um, yeah, I, I'm not really enjoying this. I, I don't think it's very good. And the combat doesn't feel right. The enemies don't seem to do much. It just kind of feels like a big open area with... Where am I going? Why? What am I doing? There's a treasure chest. Button. You know, the constant they just walk into you and just... I don't, I don't know. I'm just not enjoying this game. <laughs> well, actually, it's uh, time to take a break anyway. So, uh, take a little bit of a break, and uh, we'll play another game when we come back. Be right back. bothers me when mice are locked to the screen, like, because I may need to do something on the other screen, but I can't, because the mouse won't actually leave until I get rid, you know, exit the application I'm on. Alright, so, <clears throat> first, happy birthday to me, happy birthday to me, happy birthday to me, happy birthday To me. Yay. Alright, so. Uh, my birthday was February 1st. Uh, but this game got delayed a couple of times. So, uh... uh this is, uh, uh... What's it called? Uh, Rain Code. Oh, it includes a digital novel code. All right, that's nice. So, yay! I've been looking forward to playing this. It finally came out, and it finally got delivered. So, huzzah! Thank you, Kelly. All right. <clears throat> Once I'm done playing video games, I'll uh, take some uh, time to play some video games. All right, let's uh, let's let's play my friendly neighborhood. What's this? What is it? I must know. Camera. Let's let's. Where's the? Oh well, this this is poor because. All right. First thing is I have no idea which tab I'm actually on. There's there's no indication of which of the five tabs you're on. Now this is clearly the controls tab. This would be game. This would be display, camera, and audio. But guys, highlight the tab. <laughs> Uh, all right, camera, invert Y, there we go, all right. I still don't know why that isn't the default. Maybe most people actually prefer a non-inverted Y, non y axis. I'm sure there are studies that show that the majority, even if it's like only 51%, actually do prefer the uh, non-inverted Y axis on a camera, but eh. All right, so, and Lou says, I say every birthday should last five months. There you go. All right, Let, let's play the puppet shooter game. This should be fun. Welcome to the neighborhood. Well, thank you. What happened to my hands? Well, no getting back up that way. Um, all right, now that seems pretty shallow. I, I bet we could get back up there. Um, we are healthy, and um, ABC one two three. Yeah, we can open a door, but it's locked from the other side, so we're not opening that door. P. 
O R S T U B. Okay. Huh. It looked like I had more. I mean, despite what the ammo count says. Oh well, add a bullets. Do any of the other but oh what what did I do? Oh, I can flip my gun around that that's fun. Zoom. Uh-huh. Oh, we, we've got some duct tape and uh, health o lax and a token. Okay. Looks like we're, we're starting in the middle of the game somewhere. Alright. Oh dear, oh my. You seem to be stranded in the basement. Mm. How do I get out of here, Ricky? Oh, having a clue. Never come down here myself. Why? What's got your overalls in a knot? I'm trying to get to the roof. The roof? <laughs> Look, you gotta give up this nonsense about the antenna. Looks very bad. Very unprofessional. It's my job. Look, Gordy, I know our routine's a little rough, but don't judge a show by its pilot. Incidentally, I would hide again. What is it this time? Well, Ray, of course. He's the best sort of monster janitor thing, but doesn't like it when people intrude on his territory. Tends to get a bit grouchy. One might say, assault happy? Great. Are all of you puppets crazy? Well, Ray has always been a little grouchy, even before the shutdown. That's why they moved him down here. Only way out is by elevator, and he can't figure out how to use the buttons. Didn't help, though. He goes through the pipes. Elevator. Got it. Oh, silly me. I forgot about the elevators. Really, Gordon, I wouldn't bother. The cables are probably rusted. I don't think they even run anymore. I'll take my chances. Wow, you're so courageous and stuff. Look, I gotta go wash my hair. Stupid puppets. Come back, you sexy sock puppet. All right, All right let's inspect this. Oh. Well, we can 180 turn. We've got a magazine. I, I like some good reading material. We've got some duct tape. I'm sure that's useful for something. And uh, another magazine. Lots of good, lots of good reading. No. No. Where, where was our uh, inventory? There we go. So is it a magazine of cards? Do I? No. How about this button? We can equip. Uh huh. Okay, I, I, I guess. Can we load the other one in there too? No. no. no Alright. So that's four out of six. What if I do this one? Six out of four. Uh, okay. What if I equip some duct tape? Oh, no, no, I can't. Now's a good time for the tutorial. Okay, when enemies are knocked over, you can tape them up. Oh! Look at an enemy and press that button. And, okay. Hold your hands up in the air, and now bring them down in front of your face. Aha! That's two hands. Now, tape Now I only have one thing at the... Welcome! Hi. Have you been the best of friends? I like 
Yep. Oh, so it doesn't pause when I go into the uh, inventory. Okay. Well, no getting back up that way. Oh dear, oh my. We already spoke. You seem to be stranded in the basement. How do I get out of here, Ricky? Oh, haven't a clue. Never come down here myself. Why? What's got your overalls in a knot? I'm trying to get to the roof. Yeah. Right. Bye. Bye. Thank goodness we can skip that. All right. Bring some food for all the wild animals. For birds, you can bring sunflower seeds. For squirrels, you can bring peanuts. Hey, hey, I need one. Oh, oh, oh. And some Choco Zip, all right. I would assume health. Who knows? Well, stage is that way. Like it needs power. Like gray skull power? Or... This machine is remotely controlled and may start without warning. Alright. Oh! Okay, well, that says seven. That says nine, but it's crossed out. Ten minus three. I don't know. <laughs> oh, well, hello. Uh, to all cons uh, construction personnel, due to the ongoing renovation of the deeper stages, a high-security door has been installed to keep puppets out of the construction zone. Every employee has been issued a set of punch cards for opening the door. If you lose your punch cards, this machine can be used to generate replacements. Okay. I have no stage notes. Alright. Uh-oh, don't fall. Hmm. I don't know, let's stick our head in the pipe and find out. Hello? Hmm. What is the... I don't understand this. Maybe some tutorializing or some context for the demo would, would, would not be amiss? Okay. Uh, looks like 
front of it's missing. Uh -huh. Nada. Shells, okay. Genuinely don't know. Uh, all right, episode twenty-seven, segment six, Ray's plumbing nightmare. Interior, Ray's set. Ricky enters Ray's set, looking around for Ray. Oh boy, where's Ray? 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 The room shakes and water splashes down from the ceiling. Oh my goodness, what is happening? Ray emerges from his pipe holding a plunger. There you are! Ray, what is going on? Ray grumbles and points with the, uh, points with the plunger. What? People are trying to get rid of their problems by flushing them down the toilet. Laundry, taxes, blackmail. Ray, these are parts of life. You can't just ignore them. Song number, don't flush away your problems. As the song ends, the room shakes and water splashes down from the ceiling. Ray, if we don't get this problem taken care of, won't the whole sewer system explode, destroying the entire city? Yeah. Seems like a good show. Okay, I have, I have no idea what I'm supposed to be doing. I, did, I don't get it. Oh, I can, okay. Thing? No? Slot, inspect. Yeah, it's. Um. 
I genuinely don't even... I, I, I have no idea what... I don't even have the first clue of what the game even wants me to do. I don't know what these are or what that is or what any of this means. Like, there was something... Uh, where was it? Nope. Yeah, we've... Every employee has a punch card for opening the door. If you lose your punch card, this machine can be used to generate replacements. Cool. This one or that one? I mean, this would seem to open this door, but I, I don't understand what this is. There's a slot, but I can't do anything with it. I don't think? Like, slot. Okay, can I put something in it? I... I... What, what does this do here? I, is there a way to actually aim? No, I... I mean, I can highlight the clock, but I can't do anything? Like, the only thing I, I appear to be able to do is just pull on the lever, but that doesn't do anything. It doesn't even appear to be like, eh, you got it wrong. You know? All the clocks are at, you know, 12. We've got 3, 10, and 9, but it's crossed out. This has seven circled, but I, I can't seem to actually interact with anything, so I, I don't know what to do with it. You know, this doesn't do anything. Uh, well, actually, hang on, let me... Oh, see, uh... I can highlight the slot again, but I... Why? Can I put something in it? What? Inspect. O okay, socket. Can I do anything with it? I can't seem to. <laughs> uh, oh. Okay, you can highlight that, and but again, it doesn't do anything. He did mention earlier that it needs power, but... I uh, don't know how to turn on the power. Maybe if they'd started the game, like, from the beginning, instead of... I don't know what, Well, is that a thing? It's an M, or perhaps a W, or perhaps an E, or perhaps a 3. Who knows what it is? I can't seem to interact with it, though. Ah. Slot might be for the punch card, sure, but I don't have a punch card, so... Anything else in here? Can't destroy the boxes. Oh, hello. Oh, well. First, I beat him to the ground. It stumped. I stumped his face. Things started happening every time, and everything was okay. That's why you should always try to make friends with friends who will forgive you. <laughs> Feels like the three other machines power the big one. Yeah, but I, uh, Jared says turn on the power. I think the power's on, but <laughs> still locked. All right. Like, I feel like I'm missing some necessary context today, to here. I mean, I think it's kind of funny that we have a... We're shooting puppets and just tying them up and they just keep babbling. I think that's a funny conceit, but... Like, I turned on the power in here, so the at least the power in here is on. But I can't seem to, like, do anything with anything. I mean, there's there's uh, this thing, but I can't grab it. Is there anything I can do from the other side? Maybe, no. There's this thing, which is clearly the, uh, the bit outside. But it looks like I need some type of panel...
to plug into this thing to plug into the thing outside. But I don't know where to go for anything. There, there's just nothing around. Unless I'm, like, really missing something. Well, I guess I can't, can't interact with any of that stuff. Well, any of this interactable? No. Ah, here's a okay here we go there, there's a magazine and that was it okay Okay, well, that's that's my friendly neighborhood. It uh, I can't I can't figure out what I'm supposed to do. Plumber puppet might have the piece or the score. Uh, okay, that's fair. Hey you. Hey you. Do you, do you have a piece of a thing I need? Firing letters, so the the what I'm shooting is letters for some reason. No idea how to reload. All right, well let's find that other guy and maybe we just need to shoot him a bunch. <laughs> Have a smiling day. Hi, sir. When I'm confused, I eat the did, root killer. Did you leave me a present? When I'm angry, I feast upon the tears of my enemies. When I'm smart, I eat everyone else's food. And when I'm in a hurry, you can I just bring a friend. All I need is a friend. Alright, did he go back in here? Sir? Sir? Hello? No, I hear him again. I feel like a bad gamer. There he is again. Okay, well... I, I don't know. I think the concept of a first-person shooter puppet thing is fun, but this is... Either I am missing something really significant, or it's just a really bad demo. Um, first of all, it just drops you in the middle with absolutely zero context. The two tutorial prompts I saw appear after you would need them. I have no idea how to aim, how to reload, what, what this gun is, broadly what I'm supposed to be doing. This is a bad demo. I mean, making demos is hard, but gracious guys, it did... 
did anybody figure this out? I have to imagine if the you know the developers are like watching people try and play their demo and nobody has any idea what they're doing. It's it's at least some very valuable feedback. I I, I hope so. Okay, well, uh, that's that's my friendly neighborhood. So um, this would be where we end it. But Jared gifted me Vampire Survivors, so so let's play that. Let's, let's survive some vampires. Very survivable vampires are, so I hear. Now this is an odd game in the sense that the marketing, the way the game is sold is, hey, your character is very powerful and just stands around and uh, just so just stand around and let uh, let the character uh, win which is weird uh, so I looked into it a little more and apparently uh, you know it's various rounds of one minute rounds or something and uh, you know you, you make your character more powerful as you go and the goal is to get to the god mode point. So, uh, we'll, we'll see how this goes. It's one of those games I'm, I'm interested in. It's like, I, I don't get it. I, I want to try it so that I get it. And is it not a full screen game? Successfully uploaded save data. What save data? I don't have any save data. Right. Press to start. Oh, uh, flashy, flashy warnings. Okay. Uh, power up unlocks collection. Okay, I've collected. Apparently, I've collected two of something. Okay, what have I collected? I've collected a experience gem and a gold coin. Okay, cool. Good on me. I'm I'm very good at this game. Okay, we can reach low. We get some wings if we reach level five. We get a crown if we reach level ten. All right, fair enough. Uh, we can refund power ups or something. Well, I don't have any money, so I can't buy any of this stuff. Whatever it is. All right, let's. Uh, good luck. You'll need it, really, because because how the game's advertised is you just stand around. I'm sure that's not not how it works in the early game. So. Uh, all tenor. There we go. Thank you. All right, so let's uh, let's start and see what Vampire Survivors is all about. Okay, character Antonio. Uh, Antonio Bell Pisi. Look, essentially Simon Belmont has a whip. Gains ten percent more damage every ten levels. Okay. Email. Oh, I I. I Never mind, we're starting with Antonio because we, we can't unlock anything yet because we have no money. All right, all right, Antonio. So let's see how long he lasts without me moving. Not very long at all. Uh-oh. I don't think we're going to survive this. Oh, we did not survive the vampires. That's a shame. Okay, so we do have to move. That's gameplay. It's important. All right, so results. We survived for 12 seconds, didn't earn any gold, got to level one, so that, that's, that's something. Uh, all right, cool. Right, we're well on our way to be, be to surviving vampires. All right, let, let's survive more vampires. Now, does he attack in the direction I'm facing? Okay, so only left or right. Yeah. Uh, uh, uh. Oh, I leveled up. Okay, so... Fires quickly in the fa- Well, that's a lot of confetti. Okay, so do I get to pick one or... Increase your luck for a chance... Increase your luck for a chance to get four choices. Okay. So fire one more projectile with the whip. Fire quickly in the face direction. Or high damage, high area scaling. Eh, let's just up the whip, I guess. 
Okay, now we can whip behind us. That's nice. Okay, base damage up by 5. Don't seem to really need that because we're doing enough damage as it is. Fires at the nearest enemy. Okay. Sure, let, let's get a magic wand going. Okay, so wander around, position yourself so you hit enemies, and collect little trinkets and things. I wonder if there's anything to find. Okay, so the little blue gems are experience. That's how we level up, and that's that blue bar across the top. Okay, and as you play, enemies become more numerous and tougher, okay. King Bible orbits around the character. Well, that, that sounds helpful. Spinach raises inflicted damage by 10%, okay. Let's do this. I don't see where the Bible is. Oh, there it is. Oh, okay. It's a little further than I thought. I didn't see it. It was in the crowd. Money! All right. Oh. Oh, heavens. I almost didn't survive those vampires. Okay, so I... I had heard this was done in rounds, but it, it seems to just... So I'm guessing that that it's, it's not rounds, it's just survive until you level up, and the whole game is 30 minutes. I thought it was like you had to survive in minute increments. Maybe that's just another one of these style games I'm thinking of. Alright, one more projectile for the magic wand. Shields from damage when active. Okay, when is it active? Santa water! Generates damaging zones. Hmm. hmm. Oh, there's a thing. Don't. Uh, let's get another Bible going, I guess. Found a treasure! Oh, so it's 30 minutes around. Oh, Alright. Let's see what we found. <laughs> okay, found money. That, that's fine. That was, I, I dig that jingle, though. Uh, Jared was telling me in chat the other day that the developer behind this uh, originally came from the slot machine industry. I'm, I'm definitely seeing that influence. Music's good. All right. Uh, 
base speed up by 30%, base area up by 25%. Yeah, that sounds good. So that's an interesting um, bit of the gameplay here, is it's not just enough to avoid enemies and position yourself in a way that um, that gets them dead, but you also have to figure out a way to get at the um, experience points that they leave behind. That's a actually very clever bit of design right there. Whoop. Cooldown reduced by 0.2 seconds. Generate damaging zones. Let's try that. Let's see what that is. Okay, well, the flowers went away. Alright. Probably time to... Oh, armor. Reduce incoming damage. Increases retaliatory damage. Oh, that, that, it's actually pretty good, let's see. Um... money or something over there. Oh, shoot, I... Somehow I was blind to the vampire bats. I just didn't even see them. Walked straight into a cl whole cloud of them. Hello. Cool. Four whip. That, that's nice. Alright, Simon, whip it good. Ooh, hey, there's a different colored thing. Let me in there. Can I pause? Okay. Uh, Lou says, thought eating a lot of garlic was enough to ward off vampires, but looking at this, I see that having two Bibles rotating around you is much more effective. <laughs> I'll keep that in mind. And Lou, as she's wont to do, pulls in the trophy. Chicago says, deeper than I seem. Uh, this game is deeper than it seems. Uh, Brian says, Artemis is here now, and she's playing with her favorite toy, my office chair. Yeah. That tracks. See, this is a story of a very, very sexy man who every undead monster wants to hug. You know, 
All the uh, monsters and stuff here, they're, they just want hugs. Must hug. Oh, hey, a praying mantis or something. Alright, more magic wand, more... Yeah, we're running low on health, so we should probably do armor. I would imagine at some point there's health restorative, or that's maybe an option that can come up. Or maybe it's, you've got this health bar. Use it wisely. Pardon me, excuse me, no hugs. Take me to dinner first. Uh, evolution of the uh, treasure chest uh, theme. That's pretty cool. Okay, so we got some more Santa water. And we upped our, our whip. So that's nice. And we're almost dead, but, you know. So every... I mean, it's okay being almost dead when everything else around you is dead. Oh, hey, chicken. Hey, there we go. Got some health back. That's nice. More chicken, all right. That's helpful. Nice variety in the enemies, too. I mean, very simple sprites, but uh, there's a couple, uh, not a couple, you know, uh, palette swaps here and there, but uh, there's a nice variety of enemies here, so. Nice job. Oh, those, uh... I think they're tough little buggers. Oh, the plants are coming again. King Bible. Uh, shields from damage when active. No idea when that's active, but, uh... Actually, we, we, we do need some more more damage here. Oh, got cornered. Ten minutes. Yay. All right. Uh, I recall hearing that one of these stages has wall chickens. Mm. Vampires want your blood. Zombies want your brain. Skeletons want your, want your body. Well, you know. Never... All right. Uh, you can find chickens to heal if you destroy torches. Oh, that makes sense. That, that, okay. Cool. Also, as you progress, new I unlock new items that can regenerate health. Makes sense. Zombies love you for your brain. Skeletons, much more shallow. Alright. Uh, find and uh, uh, hold six different weapons at once. Okay. Reached level 10. Got a crown, so that's fun. 
Unlocked wings. I guess these are things that can show up in the item pool when you level up. Survive one minute with no damage. Survive ten minutes with any character. Find an Orologian. Okay, okay. Let's see. Uh, survive ten minutes. Got some gold. Reached level 13. Defeated a bunch of enemies. Okay. Alright, let's see what we can do here. Power up! Alright, so power up to... Hmm. Raises inflicted damage by 5% per rank. Okay. Increases incoming damage by 1%. Max health by 10%. That's nice. Recover 0.1 HP per rank per second. Well, that sounds good. How much stuff do we got in here? And it looks like you can refund the power-up, so that's nice. How much money do I have? 600. Uh, uses weapons 2.5% faster. Augments area of attacks by 5% per rank. Projectiles move 10% faster per rank. Oh, there's, there's the luck thing that I was talking about. Chance to get lucky goes up by 10% per rank. Item pickup range plus 25% per... That's pretty useful. Because that means you don't have to get into the thick of things. Characters move speed up. Fires one more projectile for all weapons, but that's really expensive. Makes sense. Gain 3% more experience per rank. Makes sense. 10% more gold. Increase enemy speed. Oh, a curse. Huh? 1666. All right. Frequency by 10%. Uh, hmm, interesting. Revival. Revives once with 50% health. Alright. Let's see. Now we got some more stuff. Do we got a bestiary in here anymore? Or is it just items? Looks like it's just items. Alright, let's see. Uh, what do we want? Maximum recovery. I think recovery would be pretty handy. Alright. And I think the magnet would be pretty nice. Okay. Did I already buy them? I have to go down here, right? Okay, that seems fine. All right. Oh yeah, I forgot about you guys. All right, Imelda uh, gains ten percent more experience every five levels. All right. Uh, oh, these are all siblings. All right. Uh, projectiles get ten percent faster every five levels. Permanent plus one projectile, all weapons. All right. Well, let's uh. Let's give Imelda a go here. Do 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 be do be do 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 do. Mm -hmm. All right, what's this thing over on the left here? Bombards in a circling zone. Oh, okay. Oop. Oh, I can't walk over that. Okay.
Let's see what the axe does. More magic wand. Says honestly, this game is everything modern AAA games aren't, and it's awesome for it. Yeah, I'm enjoying it so far. I think the marketing could have done a better job of communicating what the game is rather than focusing, at least for the media that I saw, a bit too heavily on there's a huge amount of enemies on the screen, and you're just unleashing a torrent of lasers such that you're, you're not even doing anything. I mean, that's a neat thing to work towards, I think. Especially after the en at the end of a half an hour run. But anyway, uh, what do we want here? Um, let's let's get a, let's improve our bird. is Character moves 10% faster. Sure. Got some Red Bull in us. Gave us wings. I think that's Red Bull, right? Pardon. Pardon. Excuse us. The plants are closing in. Yeah, you better pray, Mantis. I will end you. These ghouls are sturdy. Oops, oh, can't walk over that.
More axe. Okay. Okay, let's see. Augments max health. Let's go more whip. I was gonna say, we need to, you know, up our damage a little bit just because, uh... some enemies over here that are shrugging stuff off. Eat axe! Hey, here's the crown that we earned. Character gains 8% more experience. That's nice. Uh, more bird! We're gonna give him the bird. Monsters, I know, everyone wants a hug. Nobody likes a flimsy ghoul. Uh, plants appear at the five minute mark. Sounds about right. Uh, let's see. Uh, Alexander says, When I tuned in, I expected pretty much any game but Vampire Survivors. I like how this game is basically pure dopamine pouring into your veins. Yeah, I mean, I mean, look at, look at the background here. It's, it's just a stream of confetti. Hi, Alexander. Hey, King Vizuki. Haven't seen you in a while. Hope you're well. All right, um... Hmm, yeah, let's up the whip. Trees in the way. And of course, this uh, not a demo. We were doing demo stuff today, but uh, I'd never played this, so Jared gifted this game to me to so I could try it out. And uh, yeah, so far I'm I'm digging it. It's a lot of fun. Let's see. Uh, passes through two more enemies. That's nice. Uh, yeah.
I'm gonna kill you until you're dead again because they're undead you see anyone know what the difference between the these uh, green jewels and the regular blue jewels are, are the green ones worth more experience or something that's the plants again Yeah, what's that arrow pointing towards? Whoops. Oh, heavens. Yeah. I got pinched. I, is that like the exact time that, <laughs> from the last run to 10 minutes, 38 seconds? Uh, let's see. Uh, I feel the game does progress in a way that doesn't really feel organic, but boy howdy does it activate my lizard brain. Uh, red and green are worth more. Oh, okay. Yeah, the amount of experience varies by color. Alright, let's see. Destroy 20 light sources, all right, and find five floor chickens instead of wall chickens, all right. All righty, let's see. Da, 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 da. Da, 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 da. Yeah, a little damage buff, that's nice. I'll use that. Yeah. I'm sure we can play with the Melda some more. Poof! Poof! Fear my poofs! Excuse me, gotta get the jewel. There we go. Alright. Clock Lancet. Chance to freeze enemies in time. How many? One or. Yeah, let's try it. Yep, there, that one's frozen. Oh, it, okay, everything it hits, okay, in a straight line. All right, cool. That could be useful when there's big crowds. If it hits and if it procs, anyway. Mm. Well, we haven't tried this yet. It's Okay, and it looks like I can come in contact with a frozen enemy and not take damage, so that's helpful. I bet like Flappy Bird, there's a million clones of this. Except Flappy Bird was just kind of garbage and this isn't. Whoops, hello. Oh, goodness, goodness. Well, that, 
That zombie there was hauling ass. Uh, let's see. The arrows for the treasure chest from when you killed the praying mantis. Ah, okay. Figured it was pointing at something. Uh, green and red ones come out later, which is bigger and increasing. All right. Remember when I first saw this game, it didn't look anything special. Then I was gifted it, and holy crap, is it addicting. I've unlocked several levels, characters, and weapons. Spawned a whole genre, says Brian. Uh, some are quite good in their own right, like Bone Razor Minions. Cool name. Also, spoiler alert, you can evolve weapons when you collect the correct combinations. Oh, neat. Uh, this is, uh, this is Steam. I, I don't think the Switch version is out yet. Empty Tome reduces weapon cooldown by... I guess that's a passive there. Okay. Not an attack. Weapon cooldown by 8%. Garlic damages nearby enemies. Reduces resistance to knockback and freeze. Well, that's... That should be handy. Maybe not the most intelligent weapon choices or... or choices that I could be making, but... My first time playing the game, I'm really more concerned with um, trying new things and seeing what they are than making particularly intelligent strategic choices. Pew pew! Fear my pew pew! Kinda miss my bird though. That bird was funny. Just flying around, pooping on everything. Oh, okay, it's... so that's... Alright, I, I got it. So when the little circles are around me, I'm immune to damage for a bit. Alright, that's... that's nice. If you enable Twitch integration, we get to pick for you. <laughs> really? That's fun. There's more games like this? You can walk into bats if you have the garlic. Oh, okay. Pew. Through trees. Excuse me. Pardon. Alright, let's see. Cooldown reduced by half a second. Shield and vulnerability increased by 0.2. Alright. Effect lost lasts a second longer. Hmm. But we need we need we need some weapons here. Emailed is very popular. Uh oh. It's them damn flowers again. Excuse. Excuse, please. Base area up by 40%. Base damage up by 2 more experience! Eh, let's get some more projectiles going. Because we've got some nice passive buffs going, but... We're having a... <laughs> we don't have many attacks going out at present. Floor chicken! A whole two ja damage. <laughs> Floor chicken.
Whoops. I'm also glad that, um, stu ooh, Fire Wand. Fires at a random enemy deals heavy damage. Fun. Uh, what was I saying? I, I like the fact that, uh, you can leave stuff and come back for it later. That's nice. Kill it! Kill it with fire! Hey look, I'm playing one-handed. Uh-oh. Oh, they sped up there. Relax, evil undead things. There's plenty of Melda to go around. Alright. More projectile. Speaking of one-handed play, I would not be surprised if one of the clones of these is, um, like, uh, uh, what the hell's the name of the game? Um, I'll shoot. Galgun, right? So you're hapless anime boy and you're being chased by bunches of, you know, over-amorous school gals. That's got to be one of the clones. Excuse me, folks. I'm I'm, I'm trying to get get through here. It, it, pardon. Excuse me. There's like a treasure chest over here that I want. If you don't mind. Yeah, uh, come through. Pardon me. There we go. And now is the time we dance. All right. Oh, more magic wand stuff. Well, reduce my cooldown. Um. Axe. that. Excuse me, just powering through. Oh, it's a, it's a watch for stopping time. Okay. Neat. I'm glad that I like this game. It's nice being able to uh, check in on a uh, something that's popular and enjoy it too. Because I hate it when I see something popular and I'm like, oh, I should try that. 
Up, oh, saw a graphical glitch. You think I didn't see that? I saw that. That zombie was clipping right there through some of the, uh, the, the column. Excuse. Pardon. Pardon me. Pardon. Excuse me. Coming through. Yep, stuck on the tree. That was unfortunate. But hey, I made it past 1038 this time, so. Like it happened with your review of Megan. Yeah, yeah, man. A, a lot of people really enjoyed Megan and I th the, the Killer Doll movie that came out beginning of the year. Uh, and I watched it this week and I thought it was genuinely a not good film I like Megan herself I think the doll is really cool great design shot well um, the cinematography in the movie is fine the performances are fine it's just that like just the movie is not good which bummed me right the hell out I like liking things like I, I was bummed that I didn't like um, team Ico's stuff I don't like Shadow of the Colossus I don't like Ico Ico whatever it's called um, I don't like, um, I had something, oh, uh, the, the, the sand surfy one, what the hell's it called, uh, Journey. I didn't like that game at all. Power up. Um... Augments area of attack, man. Yeah, sure. I should probably save some money to to unlock more people here, but uh How are we doing on time? Eh, we got almost an hour. We're fine. One mild criticism is it's not always clear what you can walk through and what you can't. For example, trees you cannot walk through, but uh, these smaller plants here you can. Axe. Like this plant here, this bush, I can walk past, I can walk over that, that doesn't block me. But some other elements do. Like, uh... You know, the leaves don't, but the tree does. The column does. Not a huge issue. But, you know. Occasionally trips me up. Like these, I have no idea. These you can walk past, that's fine. Same with the log. But not the tree. Eh. Small thing, small criticism, not a huge deal. Well, Journey, uh, I really didn't like. Uh, it was... It did feature probably one of my favorite, most um, satisfying gaming moments of all time. And that is, uh, I was playing Journey. I'm pretty sure it's called Journey. Fire Wand. Um, and some random goober online just started following me around. I really didn't want them to. And at some point, I finally just sat my ass down, hoping that they'd just go away. And they didn't. They just sat right next to me. So, I unplugged the Ethernet cable from, from my console and delighted in watching them fade from existence. 
Oh, that felt so good! <laughs> and then I played the rest of the game offline, because the game's only like two or three hours long. It's very boring, just nothing to do. I don't get that game at all. I mean, there are some some moments that are like, oh, well, that's visually attractive. That, that's pretty, but... Yeah. And I know I'm in the vast minority on that one. Most people really like that game. I, I did not. Yeah, but watching that dipshit slowly slay, uh, fade into oblivion, that made me happy. That brought me joy. Fire! <laughs> I hold the power to make you disappear, mortal, says King Vasuki. Yeah. Um. Have you found. Have you played only up yet? Velma Vixen, hello. Um. Name isn't ringing a bell. Uh, I have not, and I don't believe I've heard of that game. Uh, Vasuki says, I guess it's up to what you look for in a game. Oh, yeah, yeah, there's nothing wrong with the game. It's not a bad game. I, it's just not for me. I, I don't like it. Uh, Brian says, Journey's intended to be played co-op with strangers, so you kind of missed the point of it, but it really wasn't made for you. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, the, the, the game is, the, the game's just not for me. Oh, man. Uh, do I want to upgrade? Oh, so many good choices here. Now, let's get our bird. I like our bird. Poop on all the monsters! Project. Oh, that's a, it's a tough one. More fire. Yeah, you know, as I look at the enemies, I notice that. Uh, even the palette swaps have some differences, like this red bandanaed skeleton. It's in a different pose than the others. No, oh, uh... And some of the skeletons are holding different weapons, which is cool. So... Nice, nice little details, I think. Oh, yeah, plants again. me try, trying to trying to get the jewel my jewel thank you Oh, 
Oh, oh, okay. Smart bomb. What's that thing? Picks it up. Oh, that's what that thing is. All right. All right let's see. Uh... <laughs> Velma says, you got to get out of that flower circle. Kills you every time. Just YOLO out. <laughs> that might not be a bad, uh, bad choice. It's the one at 10 minutes that, that gets me. I think it's probably been the cause of my death each time, but it's not a bad strategy. <laughs> just, just run. Uh, the bird isn't the only pet who will fight for you. I don't want to spoil too much. Oh, neat. Alright, let's see. Uh, hmm. More axe. goodness. Those bats did not like me very much. Neither did those. Floor chicken. All right. More floor chicken. All right. Suki says, no, the game's going to be further apart in terms of gameplay, but watching this always reminds, makes me want to play Darkest Dungeon. Hmm. Uh, Brian says it's like that one, uh, one BP choice way back in Sky first chapter when Estelle and Joshua got surrounded. The correct choice was to break through one side, yeah. I am loved by all undead monsters. They all want nothing more than to grab hold me and squeeze. Oops, ah, treasure chest. Uh, hey, guys, you're, you're in my way. I want the treasure. Would you mind clearing a path here? Thank you. Want, 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 want. There we go. Okay. More spell casting.
Oh, here we are. Them damn plants again. Excuse us, just gonna go right through there, yeah. Tis a fine strategy, methinks. Vixen, thank you. Give me floor chicken. There we go. Haha, uh -huh, stupid flowers. What do you think of that? What do you think of that, eh? Eh? Alright. Apparently, the arrow tells me there's something nifty over here, so probably follow it. Oh, heavens. Well, I, I, okay. Oh, goodness me. <laughs> well, uh, that happened. Made it to 11 minutes, though. Favorite demo? Uh, actually, I think the, the first one, uh, uh, Little Guardsman, is probably my favorite of the demos we played. Hey, found a rosary. Which unlocked a cross. Okay, cool. Alright, uh, how much money do we have? We've got enough that we should unlock a new person to play with. So, Pas Pasqualina. Projectiles get 10% faster every five levels. Well, that sounds fun. Alright. Anything we should power up while we're over here? We could do max health, but nah. Nah, right, not right now. Alright, Pasqualina, let's, let's see what's what's up. Okay. That's certainly a choice. Alright, it's got penetration, so that's nice. Alright, cross is new. Aims at nearest enemy, has boomerang effect. Alright. Brian agrees, uh, Little Guardsman is today's favorite. Yeah. Let's see. Um, my friendly neighborhood, I just couldn't, I, I like the concept of a goofy first-person shooter wandering around dealing with aggravating puppets. Um, I like my bird. Uh, but I couldn't figure out what to do in the game. It, possibly it's just not a very well-constructed demo. Like, might not be an issue with the actual game, but I couldn't figure out what I was supposed to do. Um, Ebenezer and the Invisible World, I think it's called. I like the concept. It's a Metroid game where you starring Ebenezer Scrooge, and you work with the various ghosts to to do stuff. There seems to be a a work strike. Um. And you're having to stop the corporations from exploiting uh, workers. Oh, how, how timely. Very cool. Unfortunately, the game just wasn't fun to play. I, like, I, I just didn't enjoy playing it. Uh, the combat didn't feel good. The movement didn't really feel good. The enemies weren't... While th there were some neat uh, enemy concepts, they weren't fun to fight. So, yeah, th that, that one really didn't do it for me. Um, let's see. Excuse me, excuse me. Whoop, 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 bats! So many bats! Uh, what, what else? Stars in the trash. Stars in the trash is... Looks really nice, and Star's a cat, and there's cute dogs in it. Looks like the, the, you know, a point-and-click-esque adventure game starring cute, cuddly animals. I mean, 
absolutely. But there just didn't seem to really be any direction to the game. Rune Tracer. I, I guess this is the, uh, the, the the main weapon I have. Uh, yeah, okay. Um, th there didn't seem to be any much reason to be doing any of the things you were doing, other than it's cute, which I guess is fine, but the game feels like it's supposed to be an adventure, and an adventure needs direction. Some semblance of direction, and the demo, at least, didn't appear to really have that. Um... Ungar... <laughs> Let's see, damages nearby. Um, Unguard was fun. It's got a great sense of humor. Uh, it's, it's got a really nice uh, over-the-top delivery style in, in its uh, aesthetic, uh, including its, its, its visuals, its animation, its uh, character line delivery, um, but oddly not music. Which, I although the 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 track that was playing in the against the the final villain was, I felt was was more along the lines of what I was aesthetically looking for to match the the rest of the presentation. Um, hard game too. It's it's actually uh, the the combat is similar to the Arkham games. Um. Variety is the spice of life. Uh, the combat's very similar to the Arkham games in that it, um, you know, you, you you can punch baddies in the you know, you get surrounded by dudes, you punch some, uh, when they flash blue you have to um, parry, when they flash red you have to dodge, and so on and so forth, right? But interestingly, I found it a lot harder than uh, Batman. Uh, mainly because the the control layout was not clicking for some reason. I, I kept slamming on the wrong button for dodge. Uh, also, the, the timing windows may, may just be the demo, but the timing windows for the prompts were a, really narrow. And... Um, Yeah, timing windows were really narrow, and you would often get a lot of different prompts at once. Typically, even if you're surrounded in Batman, you get one prompt at a time. You, you don't have two or three at simultaneously. Where this game was like, you'd block something, and then you'd immediately have to dodge or block, you know, dodge and block something else. And so, especially for a game I just started, I've yeah, so. Very cool. I, I think the the uh, the dialogue is a bit reference heavy. I'll just sneak on out here. Um, but it it is quite charming. It it plays pretty well. It's just hard for me anyway. Um, so yeah, Un Un Unguard I thought was a was a winner. What else we got? Stray Gods. Uh, I think they removed the demo since. Friday when I first downloaded it, whenever I downloaded it. Um, which is a shame because I really would have liked to try that. Uh, Noun Town is an interesting idea for a language learning software. But unfortunately I, I couldn't get it to work, so... <laughs> so we, we couldn't really play it. And it wasn't my pronunciation. C just could not get the uh, voice recognition to recognize I was speaking at all. Uh, and then Little Guardsman was the other one. So, so interesting, uh, interesting uh, collection of demos that we uh, took a look at today. Now we dance. Oh, triple. is all that okay two axes that's nice and the uh the the santa water stuff right cool
Okay, we still got half an hour. We're doing good. All right, let's see. Um, duh, 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 duh. Did you ever give the two failed demos you tried early a second go? Failed demos. Uh, no, I didn't try now. Oh yeah, now town. No, I did not. Now town just doesn't seem to work with my setup, and uh, I think Stray Gods is the demo just was taken down, so it w so it won't even start. It, it's not there anymore, which bummer. Anyway, genuine bummer. I, I've been very curious about that game for a long time, and I really would have liked to try out the demo, but I guess I guess I waited too long. Because demo's no longer listed, so even though I have a link for it, it, it just doesn't start. I knew there was some floor chicken around here somewhere. There we go. Money. That's. Uh, Chicago says um, something. I guess I should pause the game. Running any other failed demos? No, all the rest of them worked fine. So, Chicago, I really enjoyed the variety of today's stream. Would you consider doing a demo stream once in a while? Sure. Uh, yeah, feel free to, like, hit me up on Twitter, if Twitter works, or something, and, uh, you know, send me some suggestions for, uh, demos we could try out during another Sunday stream at some point. Cause, yeah, I, I, I had fun going through some demos, so, sure. Oh, goodness. Beat a total of 5,000, so I've got, got the lightning ring now. All right. Watch out, undead dorks. All right, who's the other person? Uh, Gennaro. Okay, do we have enough? Yes, we do. All right, cool. Mr. Beef. Do you take beef with my beef? It's like it looks only he's blonde, but he looks like the really angry guy that game over at our uh, um um uh, little, little guardsman session. Oh hey, lightning ring strikes at random enemies. Okay. Zap. <laughs> uh, Brian says, uh, maybe it would work if you put stream in offline mode and turn back your system clock to when it was available, then launch it from your desktop. Maybe. No, Gennaro's, uh, Gennaro, is that what it was? It's something. Whoop, 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 can't walk past that. Um, this seems to be Vasuki's favorite character, okay. Zap. All right, can I? Fo well, gotta have a fire wand. I guess the upper left there. Uh, I can only have six different weapons at the same time. I'm, I'm guessing is what that is.
But it looks like maybe I can unlock more slots at some point. Oop. After the stream, I'm uh, probably, well, I'm going to eat because I'm hungry, but um, I'm going to uh, play uh, Rain Code, which I've been looking forward to for a while and just arrived today. My sister bought it for me um, for my birthday, and it just arrived today, five months later. The game got delayed. It, it was it was originally supposed to be early this year, and I got delayed to you know June 30. Yeah, it happens. Floor turkey or chicken or whatever it is. Yeah, you know, if I go to level one criticism at this game, I don't. I, I think they could do better with the um, the uh, the sound effect that plays when you pick up uh, experience point gems. It's, for example, uh, if you've played any of the Lego games, um, yeah, think of the sound that plays when you pick up the studs in a Lego game or the coins in Mario. I think they could do a little bit more with the sound effect that you're picking up the, the gems and make it even more appealing. It's fine the way it is, but I, I think they could do more with it. Uh, ooh, more lightning! plants. be in this? Sure. I don't... Okay. 
I'm not sure what I collected, but it gave me a flamethrower, and I am not opposed to this. And... Oh, more magic wand. Okay, I am I am okay with this. Uh, King Vasuki says, I think they went minimalist with it since you're going to be picking up a lot of those gems. That's true. That is definitely a consideration. Um, you know, would any more, would, would uh, make a sound effect that's more present uh, just be annoying after a while? I don't know. It's just, you know, I could totally be wrong, of this, wrong about this. Uh, maybe they did try different versions of it. And uh, it just got really irritating after a while. Possible. But I, I, I don't know. My gut, my intuition it tells me they, they, this sound could be a bit more. Or I could be totally wrong. Plants. My arch nemesis, yeah. I need some floor chicken here. Oh, apparently there's a treasure chest or something up here. Oh, floor chicken! Yeah! That would like it. Alright, gotta dance! Santa water. Oh. oh okay, yeah, sure. Uh, more lightning! Take it. Got another smart bomb. More lightning! <laughs> whip, whip, whip. Got caught up on the skull post. So, yeah, uh, really only uh, my main criticism of this game is, uh, I mean, the the sound uh, effect of picking up jewels is not really a criticism, it's just, you know, something that sticks out to me. But, um, really my only criticism is some of the, um, background elements, some of the tiles are not clear whether you can walk on them or not. I mean, you, you learn it after a while, it's not a big deal, but, um, let's see. Well, that, that tears through the bats pretty well. Yeah, what do y'all think of my garlic shield? Yeah, you better run. I got garlic shield now. What's my favorite character so far? I don't know yet. Hmm. I, this guy is awesome because he, he you know, adds one to the, the, the number of uh, projectiles, which is pretty great. Uh, I didn't play with the 
third one, I only went one round with him, but I, I like his his weapon is really neat. And, it, you know, I, I played Imelda a couple of rounds. She was good, too. I, I, I don't know. Not not sure where I, where I might lie. I'm leaning towards this guy just because more, more attack. Uh, Jared says, do you know why I said it was addictive yet? I do. I doobly do. Uh, let's see. More damage. The other thing this game does well is uh, it looks like it'll be a while before you run out of new things to see. Uh, whether that be different enemy types or particularly the various weapons and buffs and stuff that uh, that uh, you know you get to choose between between each level up. Them bat clouds are no match for my aura of garlic. Nope, oh, plants, my nemesis. Let me out. Let me out. Let me out. Do not want. Necessary damage there. Chicken of the floor. Yeah, well, that'll work. All right. Sure. Oh, gracious me, at the 11 minute mark or whatever. It certainly fills out. Uh, let's see. More projectiles are always nice. Excuse me, please. Excuse me. Make room. Coming through. Six feet, people. Come on now. Whoops. Oh, was I caught on something? I wasn't moving there for a sec. Ah, oh, weird. Whatever. Yeah, I think I made uh, 12 minutes. Nice. Unlock an extra projectile with a point in amount. Yeah. Get Santa Water to level 4. Get Lightning Ring to level 4. Oh, did I unlock a new dude? New dude! Survive 5 minutes with dude. Okay. Let's see. Uh, how are we doing? Oh, we got time for one more. Let's see. New dude! Alright, dude. Porta. Permanent 30% area. Don't know what that means. Starts with temporary cooldown bonus. Alright. And is, comes equipped with the lightning. I, I can't afford you! Aw. Well, I, I could... Uh, 
refund some power-ups, right? There we go. Uh, what did we have here? So we want a magnet and a little mite. Sure. There we go. Let's see. You made it to level to twelve minutes, uh, Gennaro Supremacy, baby. <laughs> I do like the, the like the lightning strikes. That's just very fun. I do like this rune tracer thing here too. So let's grab that. Garlic shield's pretty nice early on. It makes bats pop like balloons. Although the this rune tracer isn't really that useful until very large crowds start showing up. So, one more run, and then we'll call it a day. Can't just spend all day playing video games. I've got video games to play. Don't you know? Sturdy bat, that glowy one there. Oop, tree. So, like I was saying, uh, always something, some new stuff to look forward to. Well, not always. Eventually, you'll run out of stuff. But, um,. You know, I've been playing this for two hours and unlocked a new character. So, oh, hey, character recovers 0.2 HP per second. Oh, that seems useful. Oh, there's an enemy counter there. I didn't even notice that until now. All right. Yes, please. Pop, pop, pop. Skeletons do not give a damn. What's interesting is when I first started this game, I kind of figured that... Um, the character's hitbox would be very small, like it would be either their head or their hips or something like that. Uh, typically, 
the kind of thing that you'd see in um, bullet hell games where your character's this large, but it's it's a small area that is actually their hitbox. No, it seems to be essentially the entire character sprite. Or at least a, a, a good chunk of it. Bat with the aura that's its garlic shield. Okay. <laughs> Makes sense. the the plants like despawn after a certain amount of time or damage or enemies defeated or you know, 530 so maybe it's you know that first one is from 5 to 530 whoop time to dance and here we go Ooh, more lightning. <laughs> After this round, you're going to get a real-life floor chicken. You know, uh, considering I'm on vacation, I might actually go get some sushi. I like sushi. So, um, because I'm on vacation this week, I'm going to try and do at least... Okay, um... More garlic. Why not? You guys don't seem really that impressed, but that's alright. Uh, we're gonna be there's gonna be some streams during the week, at least two uh, for Trails from Zero. So look forward to that. Um, I, unless something weird happens, like a, you know one of my appliances break. Uh, or there's some emergency that requires me to be elsewhere or do something else. Uh, we'll have a stream same time, noon Pacific Standard Time, tomorrow. And we'll, we'll play some uh, a Trails from Zero. I would like to do three, at least. I would like to do, you know, Monday, Wednesday, Friday. So I'll shoot for that, and we'll see how it goes. Unless a uh, raincoat is just uh, so amazing, I, I feel I must share that with you. Then maybe we'll stream that. But see the sound effect for enemies popping. I, I think is it's got that really nice, attractive popcorn sound. I think that one's a lot closer to what I'm kind of imagining the, uh, the, the gem pickup sound could be. 
Ooh, candle, ca candle, lab candle, candle labrador. Augment, oh, okay. Candle, candle, candle labrador. That, that's a good name, I like that. Knock on wood. So, yeah, yeah, you never know what's going to happen. Excuse, excuse, excuse me, please. Looking for floor chicken. Oh, money. Also, tomorrow I've got to go to the bank and uh, get some quarters so I can do my laundry. <laughs> this bat is invincible! See, looking for some torches here. Oh, hello, bats. There's a torch. Give me a floor chicken. Chicken of the floor. Well, it's a coin, but okay. died. Uh, let's see. Raises... Yeah, we, we could do with some more damage. Damage is nice. We like damage. But we like we, we like inflicting damage. We don't we don't like receiving damage as, as much. I'd be over here somewhere. Of course, we're gonna hit we're gonna hit the plants here in a moment. Uh, no idea what that was. Oh, it seemed to be a suck a, a goody bags towards you. Um, hmm. Okay, so that was basically just grab everything on the map. That's a that's a pretty good item to grab. Just to suck every experience ampule toward you. Alright. More lightning. Okay. <laughs> okay, sure. More lightning! Yep, there's the plants. And there's the, uh... Run on through. Pardon me. So that that's a that's a good one to collect. Yeah, auto loot or something. Yeah. I didn't get a name for it, but that's a uh... oh, goody dance. cross stuff, alright. We are cross fit. We, we do need some floor turkey though. Floor chicken, fl something. Elf. Just follow this road here. I'm sure this road leads to, to more torches. Oh, gracious. Golly gosh. Whoops, died. <laughs> okay. Alright. Well, that is 
that is an adorable and fun game. I quite like it. Thank you for gifting it to me, Jared. All right, what did we get? We found a vacuum. Well, that's a, that's, that's a good uh, name for that. Found a little clover, which unlocked the clover. And unlocked the attract orb, so that's nice. All right. Sweet. That is, that is a charming and fun game. I quite like that. Ace, hello. All right. So. Ah, oh, yes. Ah, that's nice. Can't say I'm a big fan of the uh, title screen music, but, y you know, the rest of the game, it's quite endearing. I quite like that. Yeah, this was not a demo. This this was something that Jared... Um, uh, th this was something that uh, Jared gifted me to uh, to play. I'm glad, because we actually got through all the demos in, like, three hours. So, uh, it helped that two of them were broken. Well, one was broken, and one was um, uh, just completely missing. So, all right. So, um, that's it for me. I am, where is it? I'm going to get some food. Then I'm going to play my birthday present, Rain Code, from my sister, which she got for my birthday back in February 1st. But, you know, the game didn't come out until uh, Friday. So, hey. Uh, and then uh, come back tomorrow, noon Pacific Standard Time, and we'll play some uh, uh, Trails from Zero. So, that's it for me. Take care, everyone. Bye-bye. Where is the stop button? There it is. I see I see it. Tools.